Hello everyone! Welcome to Playoff Postseason Technically November in our sim file. First and foremost, I want to start with a shout out to Shu. Happy birthday. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay, now, now, now you're good to go. Now you can do it. Okay, well, now it doesn't seem happy birthday <laughs> to Shu. There you go. Yep. Happy. Okay, I'm not. Really All right. Happy. Yeah. Well, hello, everyone. I am AU Gold, Andrew Orm, first baseman for the Death Valley Scorpions. With me tonight is not Super Tardis, but instead Person Man. <laughs> His player is Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, uh, not on the scorpions because he's stinky. Oh, well, that's mean. Well, I did watch that poll, and at least the last second I looked at it, it said um, the Dillos and the 66ers for the uh, first game tonight. However, we're not going to do <laughs> game one. We're going to quick no, sim game one of this series. So the Dillos 66ers game we will watch is game two which will quick sim the majors game one then we'll watch a game two of the majors and then we'll be on elimination watch from there on out so it's going to be a jam-packed night best of five series all around in the majors and the minors we're going to jump in here for uh some quick sims we're just we're just gonna go right in Dillos and 66ers looking at our... Actually, you know, I want to go into a manage game so we can see the lineups. Then I'll back out and we'll, and we'll quick sim it. Dillos and the 66ers. Robert Mountain in this S23 season with a 598 ERA and a 166 whip versus Bill the Hill in a uh, 381 ERA and a 146 whip. Looking at the lineup, it's... Pretty heavily favored Dillos, ties in a couple places, and 66ers at the 2 and 8 spot. But it should. Yeah, which is honestly kind of surprising given that 66ers were by far the best team in the minors uh, this season. Yeah, very true. Well, we'll have to see throughout the night if the 66ers will uh, pull that off or if the Dillo Dillos will overcome the advantage. But. Quick simming that. So Dillo's 66ers game one. Drum roll, please. That's gonna be terrible. Perfect. Oh wow. Whoa. Oh wow. That is a That's a scoring game. That is a tight matchup there. Um the Dillos and the 66ers of game one with a one to nothing victory for the Dillos. Coming in the top of the sixth inning, both with six hits. What a matchup. RBI scored by Swerve, by um, Kirk Swerve with the run. Actually, it looks like it was a solo shot. Run, yeah. It was a solo home run <laughs> yep. for Kirk Swerve. RBI, run, walk, no strikeout. Yeah. Uh, so, Kirk Swerve, one for three day, one RBI, does score himself that run and does get a walk. Uh, so that actually puts the Dilla Dillos up one oh, oh for San Bernardino. No, 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 no. Peter Pretzelman got caught stealing. That's so sad. Oof. My favorite player. Um, so down in the pitching, Mountain does get the win going five and a third. Bill the Hill does give up the one earned run, taking the loss. Uh, Dot and Dally for San Bernardino being perfect to three and two thirds. And Tano and Fuji doing the same. For two and two thirds, or actually for also three and two thirds, Robert Mountain, your starting pitcher for the Dillos, is the player of the game. Wow, I mean, the Sixty Sisters scored so many runs. I don't know what their differential was, but them to get shut out at home in the playoffs, very very surprising. Yeah, and I, I that is a shocking game one. <laughs> Going over to Dallas, though, home of Ah Ah, we've got. The Kingpins and the Dynamos. So let's take a look at their lineups here, and then we'll quick sim this. So we can move on to day two, where we get to watch a game. Uh, so we've got Leo Robert, starting pitcher for the Kingpins. 391 ERA with a 132 whip over this season. And Cooper Casey, 
a 409 ERA and a 132 whip. The lineup is favored for the Kingpins. Slots seven and five for the Dynamos and ties in four and six. Ah uh, uh, is a bad player, is what I'm understanding from that. Yeah, no, that's that's true. Um Yeah. So Yeah, this view is a little weird. The overlays all make the view this view weird. Let's go ahead and quit yeah, sim. We're using it on that one for too long. King what you got? What you got? Dynamos? Whoa! I can't. I don't see that score. is a. Gold? That is a game. Wow. Um, wow. the Kingpins beat the Dynamos twelve to two. Fifteen hits for the Kingpins, eight hits for the Dynamos, with two errors. That is uh, whoa. Hitting wise, everyone on the side of Chicago does get a hit. Big day for Chungus, going three and five with two RBIs and two runs. Let's see, stolen bases doesn't seem to be much. Couple sack flies on both sides. Couple hit by pitches. Some double Couple plays. Pass balls. Couple pass balls. Yeah, one on each side. Uh, Casey does take the loss for the Dynamos, giving up six runs, only five of them earned. Uh, only pitching two innings. Johnson goes three, giving up one earned with three runs. Tosin goes three and a third, giving up one. And Knight Ryder goes two thirds, also giving up one, but two unearned. Jeez. That's, uh... Tough game for Dallas. Yeah. Uh, Robert takes the win. Luciano takes the save, going six innings and three innings, uh, respectively. And pork chop sandwiches, pork chop sandwiches, going two and four with three RBIs, a walk, and three runs, gets the player of the game. Wow, that was certainly not the way I thought either of those games were going to go for day <laughs> one. Um, a one nothing win and then a blowout. <laughs> That is dang. Uh, so I believe there are no games for the majors, which is exactly right. So, quick uh, Yeah, day one over. Heading on to day two, where we are going to watch our first game that you guys all decided the Dillos and the 66ers. Yeah, then just give it a minute before you start it in case uh, any of the Miley GMs want to make a change. Uh, for those that don't know, we do allow GMs to make changes in between games for the playoffs. It's something that they are not able to do uh, regularly in, during the regular season. Uh, so if any minor, minor league GMs want to make a change, uh, you know how to let me know. Uh, so we'll give them a minute. Uh, LBG says no changes for the Dynamos. Dallas has a change. Can we win? That's a change. Oh, Dallas. <laughs> See, maybe, but you're not a GM, so. Ooh, get get shut out. Uh, all right, I have. I think that was about thirty seconds. So I have another minute and a half on my uh, on my phone oh, here. I, I, see, I was gonna open up the timer. Uh, uh, so, uh, I can't speak. Shu said that they're good. Oh. Sixers. Are fine. Okay. Well, that's right. There's two more teams. <laughs> change uh, Icebox Johnson's ERA to zero. Oh. Um, you know what? Uh, no. Ooh, Sorry. So rude. I know. But, Why do you even give them the choice? I know. Looking at the lineup here, uh, I believe the starting pitcher for the last game was in favor of the Dillos. Now, Danny Sullivan in favor of the 66ers, if this is the lineup we stick with. Uh, the Dillos still have the advantage for hitting. Two and three to the 66ers. Ties in one and seven. So yeah, we'll give them another, it's about 40 seconds left on my phone here for them to make some changes. But as we have a couple seconds, uh, we'll quickly just go look at the majors for their matchups. Oh yeah, what teams are playing? Yeah, Voyagers and Tauros <laughs> at Cancun, Reginald Sivart and Jose43 are your starting pitchers up in the majors. The Raptors at the Scorpions, Brent Lemieux and Frederic. Oh, I learned this. Federic yeah. Urquidez Garcia. Ooh. There we go. Or, or Urquidez. I think it's Ir Urquidez. It's still hard to say. Oh, I'm still going to call him Garcia. Um, and that is my timer going off. So 
Yeah, and uh, just for the majors, yeah, Jose 43 thing starts. Um, he was a reliever all season long, so going to be their ace uh, right now. Yep. Well, Hopefully he still knows how to pitch for most winnings. You know, we had plenty of time to talk about this, and we didn't. didn't. Um, how do we want to do play-by-play? Uh, see, I was, yeah, uh, I don't know. Do you want to do, like, home away stuff? Do you want to do the entire game and then take the entire game off? Do you it, split up by innings? Uh, I don't really care. Sure. What's going to make you happy? No, no, that's not, that's not a decision. What's going to make you happy, Gold? Yes. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, swap each batter. <laughs> swap each batter. Yes, go. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're, you're just going to do this entire game. I'm All right, that's fair. All right, cool. I will I will do this one. So, um, and if anyone of the mods or even person man wants to set up a, a bet, could just do um, purely who you think is going to win. Kind of run it for a minute or so. And uh, kind of over the first inning, I think, is, is a decent... Decent thing there. I need to slightly move. Which just gives me time because I need to slightly move everything up a bit because the uh, stamina is not showing. So give me just a second here. I thought I did this and it turns out I was wrong. I changed my overlay. Hang on. There we go. That's too high. That needs to go there. That needs to slide down a tiny bit. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. We're going to get this game underway. Sh uh, sorry, looking at the wrong game. Dillos lead the series 1 to nothing over the Dillos. And in Dallas, Chicago leads that series 1 nothing. So here we go, guys. First game of the night. As Swerve leads things off with a strikeout. As Danny Sullivan gets the start here with a K. Dan King does take a walk. Sims strikes out, unable to hold that swing. And Roger strikes out, stranding King on first. Up for the 66ers, Randy Myth grounds that one to the shortstop for the first out. Benny Rodriguez strikes out as John Barron gets his first K of the night. Remember Vevwiko Vogel uh, takes a walk. And Bougie sends that one to left field to end the bottom of the first. Cowboy strikes out swinging, unable to hold up his check swing. Winters sends that one deep, and it's gone! A 403-foot home run puts the Dillos up one to nothing. Spock to lead things, or to continue the top of the second with a walk. Uh, Hickombs grounds that one to the second baseman for an out. And Trevon Knight sends that one to left field to end the top of the second. But the Dillos put runs on the board. Daytona grounds that one to second base for the first out. Bongo Lulongo grounds that one to the shortstop. And four straight will strike out swinging for Baron's second of the night. Swerve grounds that one to the third baseman. Dan King sends that one to the other way to the first baseman. And Sims sends that one back to the third baseman. So for a 5-3, a 3 unassisted, and a 5-3 output for the inning. Vanderbilt sends that one to the second baseman for the first out. Peter Pretzelman does the same thing, but that's an error. That's going to be a fumble bumble. And that error is going to put a man on second with a stolen base. As Randy Myth grounds out to the third baseman. And Benny Rodriguez pops that one up in the infield, so the error not coming back to bite the Dillos. As Steve Rogers, another home run for the Dillos, 409 foot blast, puts Dillos up two to nothing. 
Cowboy up here, and he's going to get a single into left field. Cedric Winters sends that one to right field, but that is easily caught for the first out. Spock, but that's going to be a wild pitch, puts Cowboy on second. Spock does take a walk. And here comes, grounds that one to the shortstop, and they get the force. They get the fielder's choice. But Trevon Knight does strike out for Sullivan's fifth of the night. Stranding runners on first and third. Ram Vemverwinkle does ground out to the pitcher. Bougie sends that one to left field for a single. It's a runner on first for Daytona, but actually put that a runner on second as Bougie steals. Daytona does walk, so runners on first and second. As that's going to land in fair territory to load the bases for four straight. Who takes a walk? And that is the first run for the 66ers as Barron walks in a run. Vanderbilt will strike out for Barron's third of the night. Pretzelman is going to cash in with a single to center field that scores two to put the 66ers up. They take their starting pitcher out and put Tano in as he gets the final out of the bottom of the fourth. Meanwhile, in Dallas, slowly inching their way back. It was 7-1 earlier that I saw, but now 7-3. Swerve does walk to lead off the fifth as Dan King flies out. Sims gets that one past the shortstop for a single. Steve Rogers gets that one into center field. Are they going to send the runner? They will not. So bases loaded for Cowboy, who gets an RBI. This game is tied. Winters. Winters takes the lead with a two RBI single to right field. Dillows up five to three. Spock sends that one to center field. They are not done yet. Six, three Dillows. RBI single from Spock. A fly ball to right field is finally going to get an out. So runners on the corners for Knight as he strikes out swinging. Going 0 for 3 on the night. Stranding runners on first and third. Uh, Rodriguez with the pop up into foul territory, but bobbled, and that is technically an error. Does eventually ground out, though, as remember, Van Winkle uh, does get a single and bougie home run to right field a 390 foot two run blast puts the 66ers only behind by one daytona does ground out to the shortstop as lou longo will do the same so the 66ers put some runs on the board not dead yet swerve grounds out to the third baseman for an easy out Dan King gets that one into left field for a single. Sims to the first baseman. They'll get the fielder's choice at second. And Rogers. That was a weird animation, but he does strike out. Four straight to lead things off for the 66ers with a strikeout up against Tano. His first of the night. Vanderbilt gets that one into shallow center field for a single. Uh, Dylan Arms is now on the mound as they get a pop out from Pretzelman. Strike three. And Randy Myth does strike out swinging. As Dallas is still trying their hardest at home to try and make a comeback. Cowboy does fly out to right field. Winters does get a single into center. Spock sends this one to center field for the second out. And Hickomes does strike out swinging as Dallas puts two on the board in their game. Both of these games very close. 6-5 going to the bottom of the seventh and 9-6 in the top of the seventh in Dallas. Rodriguez lines out to the third baseman. Remember, Rem, remember Winkle does take a walk. Remember Winkle. Uh, Bougie flies out. Daytona gets a single in the center. And Luolongo strikes out swinging. It comes. Okay. 
Uh, Knight strikes out swinging. Swerve grounds to the pitcher. And King strikes out swinging. Four straight sends this one to center field for a single. Vanderbilt strikes out swinging. Pretzelman strikes out looking. Randy Myth sends this one to left field, but easily played. Still down one with three outs to play in the ninth. Sims sends this one to left field for a single. Rogers sends this one to right field, and the Dillos are trying to stack some runs on in the top of the ninth. Cowboy grounds that one to the... I'm really not sure who that was supposed to be in the shift. But they do get the out, and they get a fly out from Winters. And Spock is going to cash in with a triple <laughs> to left field wow. into the gap, 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 gap there. And it comes, lines out to center field. Great catch out there. But it is now a four, wait, three run game I can add. Rodriguez, <laughs> la... Boy. Yeah, that, 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 that messed me up. So. <laughs> As Bougie oh, again! Sound. Another home run for Bougie brings the 66ers within one with a 401 foot two run home run. Daytona will strike out swinging and it is down to Lou Longo. Lou Longo Bongo. And a disappointing loss for the 66ers. So close to victory. Down one with two outs and unable to come back and win. As the Dillos beat the 66ers 8-7, to seven, those two insurance runs in the ninth proved to be costly for the 66ers. Yeah, so Dillos go 2-0. and oh. uh, Quite a lot of hits. The bottom of the order not really doing much for the Dillos, but a 3-for-5 day with three RBIs and a run from Cedric Winters. But I want to shout out Bougie on this one. A 3-for-5 day with four RBIs and three runs. Two of those hits, home runs, being the massive offense that the 66ers need in this playoff game. I just opened the poll uh, for the next game, so go vote on which majors game we should watch after this. Down, uh, down in pitching, Sullivan does take his loss going four and a third. Uh, Baron takes nothing going... Th three and two thirds. Tano takes the win. Arms takes the hold. Fuji takes the save. And Baden Buji, rightfully so in my opinion, becomes player of the game. Um, And the Dynamos do fall to the Kingpins. 13 to 7 attempted comebacks over and over throughout the entire game and just not able to get... <laughs> Close. They know what this means. <laughs> yeah, we're on we're what? on elimination watch <laughs> for both teams. <laughs> Already. Good thing we skipped day one. <laughs> um oh boy. Offense galore as on the side of Chicago, everyone gets hits, but especially Picone going four for six with an RBI and a run. Uh, on the side of Dallas, a couple three hit games from Edwards, Parleme or Par Parmalee, and Crustus. Crustus? Ah, I got a double, apparently. Good for him. Uh, McDonald takes the loss, going two and two-thirds, giving up six. Gunk takes the win, going five and two-thirds, only giving up five. And Scary Terry is the player of the game, going two for two with two RBIs, three runs, and three walks. Having a perfect day on base, Scary Terry. And your two hits were both home runs. Wow, that's a good day. Let's see, so up in the majors, game one of the Tauros and Voyagers, 
goes Whoa! to the Tauros. A 13 to... Seven to run to the seventh. Yeah, 13 to two win for the Tauros. Boy, um, I don't know if I expected that either. Lots of offense for the Tauros. Three for six day from Hank. Three for four day from Carter. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of good offense. Hotman gets a gets a home run. Stolen bases from Carter, fitted, and two from Hank. Two stolen bases from Menard. Uh, Jose forty three takes the win. Shinkansen takes the save. Sivart does take the loss. So, and Tanner Hutman does get the player of the game. So. Jose 43, a reliever, getting the start, uh, does pretty dang good, giving up the only runs of the game. Pretty darn tuned well. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Death Valley, Death Valley does take the game one against the Raptors, a 6-2 win. Oh, nice. Who got the hits there, Gold? Um, you know what? Uh, Slowy Gonzalez got some hits. Oh. He got some hits. Uh, Holding a fart got some hits. Uh, and that's oh. it. You know? I, I mean, look over to Boise. Almost every single player. Almost, got hits. yeah. Dang, no, everyone no but won. Bochamp. That's a shame for Bochamp. Um, Let's see what a pitching looks like. Yeah, pitching. Yakidis Garcia does take the win. Lemieux does take the loss, and Garcia is your player of the game. Dynamo's featured game against. this time. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 so we, we will be watching both, I might get my, in my opinion at least, we'll be watching both of the Miners games, because yeah. they are... Uh, elimination. They are both elimination games, so... Uh, oh, do we want to consider... By the fridge GMs, I started with a two-minute timer. Oh, um, I've been tagged three yeah, times. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's what? Who? Who's tagging? No, don't mind me. Oh, I think yeah, um, I think I figured it out. I think you, if you type in, it's slash prediction. Oh, by well, the way. yeah, well, but but I remember there being like a like an easy button to, to do it. Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't, do we want to consider just quick simming tomorrow <laughs> if we have so? I don't know. We, we did say that we, that we would stream. Um, we we are going to stream one of at least one of the game twos for the for the, because at the very least, if if it so happens that both games are elimination games. Did, also, did you yeah. see who won the poll? Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the the Voyagers can't get by, by okay. shot. Okay, because I did not see. All right, one minute left to let us know if you want changes. I don't see anything right now. Um. If you just want to make sure for the Voyagers and the Toros that the correct lineups are already set, uh, that'd be the only thing. Oh, good point. Good point. I think to do. Uh, so make sure we start off. So right they're at the foot. they're at Toros. So let's go see Voyagers lineups at Cancun. Oh, they were just not. make sure. They were Probably thirty sure. seconds. GMs. I don't think anyone wants to change. Wait, oh, are they at? Maybe C doesn't. C doesn't. Someone's typing. Yeah, they're at Cancun. Uh, da, 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 lineups at Cancun. At Cancun. Can. Cancun. Cancun. Oh boy. <laughs> there's a little button called Force Wind. Oh, so uh, there's a. All right, who's the starting pitcher? It is Shote. So Shote is a righty. So, okay. Uh, home versus right-handed pitcher. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, then it's been the past few minutes. I haven't been tagged anywhere, so well, we're good. You're good to start the next game, and I can talk for this okay. one. I can be like, "Hey, here are the people." Uh, so Voyagers at Toros. Yeah, Kevin Schott. Schott and Striker Spin Right Spin Rate Spin. Today was not a good day for me to co-host. I'm so tired. <laughs> you got this. Uh, yeah, I mean, Voyager is right here. Uh, take the majority for batting tie with pitching. I mean, regardless, this is going to be a good series. Um, they threw, in our testing, it was pretty much 50-50 for who's going to win. Um, so I, I think we'll have a great game. If you want to get 
going. Turtles lead the series 1-0, so Voyager is looking to tie it up before they head to New York. Oh, that's my cue, isn't it? Yeah. It, it, well, I mean, your cue was like 20 seconds ago when I said, okay, you can start this game. Um, <laughs> but Grant Irving will get us uh, started as he will lead off for the Voyagers. He's at one to the shortstop, thrown out at, at first, the first out of the game. Eric Rivers up now will strike out swinging, I think. It looked like a swing. So two outs for Harden Long. Good start for striker spin right. As Harden Long will draw the two out walk. Tom Shoe up now. It's his birthday. He strikes out swinging. Uh, so no runs here in the top of the first. As Boy Z starts so very, very quickly. The 2 0 lead. A rebound knocks leading off. We'll ground out to the second baseman. Farley Hank now hits his one into the outfield deep and gone. Two, 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 422 feet out there, straight to center. As Cancun takes a 1 0 lead in this game. Ace Carter up to bat now. We'll hit that one right past the shortstop. Just went uh, right under his glove there. That's a single. As Anthony Bauer will draw the walk two on one out for Caden Munson, who is at once left field caught out there for the second out of the game, of the inning. Game inning. Tanner Hopman right in the middle. That'll be good from RBI. An RBI single as the second runner moves over to third. Two runners on the corners with two outs. And Simmons will ground out, even though it looks like the slide beat. Uh, attack. <laughs> but that's just uh, animations for you. Arjun Minar hits one deep the center. That's down. That should be good for a double, as it is. Joshua Stevenson up now. will strike out swinging. So one out with a runner in swing position for oh. Galicio as Menard steals third. And this one's deep. It'll be good for a tag up. It's the plant the plate. And he's safe. Voyagers uh, get their first run of the game. As Slim now will draw the walk. Two outs here for Hodge. As Hodge will get this one to left field, that's going to be caught. So after uh, one and a half innings played, Cancun still leads two to one. Michael Finn here. This one goes into left, and that's down for extra bases. That'll be a leadoff double with Washington and Wallace. The pop up. What? Fumble. Fumble. And uh, Cancun makes quick work of that error as Knox will get the uh, sack fly. And Cancun takes a 3 to 1 lead as Harley Hanks strikes out for, for out number two. And he's Carter here with a runner on first, hits this one into the left, and that is caught for out number three. So Cancun gets one more run in the bottom of the second off of the error. I don't know what should have been an easy pop out. Right, a reading strike down swinging to start the top of the third. Eric Rivers up now. Boise definitely tied at two over there. Rivers will hop out into the into fall territory. And Harden Long with a two out single into center field. Tom Shu now, a little wild pitch there, will move uh, Long over to second. And Shu now get that one down in the outfield. Runner comes home, runner scores. Three to two with New York scoring their second run. Archie Bernard up to bat. That will be a line drive right to the third baseman. Good catch. Good focus there. As we now head to the bottom of the third. Four, five, six bears up. As Bauer grounds out to the shortstop. As we all expected. Cade Munson grounds out to the shortstop. As we all expected. Tanner Hopman oh, hits it to the shortstop. But a little weird bounce. So it gets past for a single. As Salmons will uh, strike out to finish the third. First inning for the Toros that they don't score a run. Top of the fourth now. Stevenson is one to right field. That is caught for out number one. The Alessio will ground out to the second baseman. And Bar uh, the Slim gets another walk. <laughs> Hodge will hit this one inch down the right field line. That's good for a double. And they will not send the runner to run. Okay. <sighs> it goes fast. Fitted up for the Toros, <laughs> bottom of the fourth. Fitted will draw the lead off walk. Watermelon Walrus up to bat will ground out straight to the first baseman, but the runner moves over to second. And Knox is going to get that one to outfield. That'll be good for an RBI single. Cancun takes the 4 2 lead. Farley Hank up next. Farley Hank will strike out swinging two outs with a runner on first for Ace Carter. And Carter will ground out into a fielder's choice right to the shortstop. Top of the fifth now. Cancun leads by two. 
Eric Rivers up to bat. Eric Rivers will fly out to the field. Hard and long will strike out swinging. Two quick outs here for striker spin right. Tom Shu up to bat next. And Shu will get that one down the left field line. That's good for a single. Maybe a little two out rally. RG Minar, no, fielder's choice. Bottom of the fifth, here we go. Bauer, Munson, Hopman. Bauer with that one. It's left field for a single. Lead off hit. Hayden Munson strikes out swinging for the first out of the bottom of the fifth. Hopman will get that one down right into center field. And we have two runners on with one out for Salmons. As Salmons hits this one deep. 434 feet to right center as Cancun uh, leads by five after that three run shot. Michael Fitt, and what can he do to continue this uh, little hot uh, streak going? He's going to pop out. But the Walrus, <laughs> the Walrus gets a two out hit. Going back up to the top of the order, Knox will strike out looking. A check swing there, it looks like. So Kenku scores three in the bottom of the fifth, giving them a five-run lead as we head to the top of the sixth. He's in strikes out looking. Delicio and then slim up to bat. Delicio hits that one into right field. That's down for a base hit. That's good for a single. Slim will hit that one down the right field line. That, that's going to be extras. I think try some on the runner. They do. They're going for a triple. Safe everywhere as the Voyagers claw their way back a little bit into this lead. A shot into left field, not deep enough to send the runner. And Iridian will draw the walks of runners on the corners. With two outs for Rivers. Rivers, that's going to be a hit. And it's going to be a hit. It's going to be an RBI single on that little bloop that we just saw. Uh, the Voyagers have four runs now. And Long will ground it into a fielder's choice. But the Voyagers will take two runs. Down by just three. Still plenty of time in this game. That also goes for both teams. It can score more runs. Farley Hanks strikes out. Ace Carter... Up to bat next. Card will strike out swings. Two quick strikeouts for uh, Tokiyami. As Anthony Bauer is up to bat. And Bauer will hit this one deep to left field. Uh, not deep enough. That's going to be caught. Round number three. Top of the seventh. Here we go. Four, five, six batters up for the Voyagers. Tom Shu gets the lead off walk. Arch Minard up now with this one too deep right field. Caught out there for the first out. Stevenson, a little strikeout looking, so two quick outs there as Delicio comes up to bat with the runner on first. Strikes out as we head to the bottom of the seventh. Gold stretch. Munson will strike out swinging to start the bottom of the seventh. He didn't stretch enough. Or maybe he stretched too much. I'm not sure. Hotman with one out will strike out looking. A good start for Phil Graves as he enters this game. Uh, Salmon's up, had a home run earlier, now strikes out. So three strikeouts, uh, complete the seventh inning. Top of the eighth, the Voyagers have the bottom of their order to start off with. And Slim will draw the leadoff walk. As Dylan Hodge up to bat, this one deep to a right center, but it's going to be caught out there for out number one. Back up to the top of the order, but a little wild pitch first. Grant Braden up to bat, and that'll be a pop out into foul territory. The catcher got that one as Rivers will ground out to first to finish the top of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth. Eight, nine, one hitters do up for the Toros. Fitted. We'll hit that one down the right uh, field line for a lead off hit. Walrus, no. What? What? The steal safe strikeout. Another steal. Things are happening. He got thrown out. I'm confused. It's the end of the eighth. Three outs left for the Voyagers to get uh, three runs. <laughs> Lots of things happened there, but let's keep going. Hard and long will ground out. No, an error, an actual error. Fumble, bumble. Uh, hard and long's on first. Shoe strikes out. They need three runs. They have two outs to work with. As Menard hits this one to right. That's going to be caught. Only one more out. They need some hits. Stevenson gets them a hit. The tying runner at the plate, D'Alessio. A home run ties it. And this one's hits to center field. That one is caught. As Cancun takes a 2-0 lead in this series, winning 7-4. Lots of things happened. Um, the only player with more than two hits, ah, you, you're moving things, uh, is Tanner Hotman, who went 3-4 for four with an RBI. Sam's had the three-run shot, three RBIs. 
Uh, if I'm right, the pitching striker spin rate gets the win, even though giving up four earned runs. Uh, went five and two thirds. Save goes to Nate Pearson. The loss going to Kevin Schotes, giving up six earned runs. Player of the game is Tanner Hotman. All right. So when we when we stopped there, mm-hmm. right? When we stopped there, There's the eight. game was six five. Yep. And Boise's gonna win probably. That's my so. guess. So. Boise I'm won, just right? just for the for Probably. for for the chat. The game, the other game, the yeah, Boise which... Death Valley game was six five in favor of Boise. It was like three two Death Valley for a little bit, and it ended up right as we stopped there. It was six five in the bottom of yeah, the eighth. So, so. <laughs> oh. what happened, Gold? What happened? Whoa, the game that, that no one wanted to watch? I don't know, man. I don't <laughs> I know. I don't know. I mean, it, it, to be clear to anyone that doesn't know, we're both uh, players on – well, I'm the GM of Scorpius. He's a player, so we're, you know, we want the Scorpions. So uh, sorry, it, we're biased. True. Um, yeah, so sorry. Um, the Scorpions win this one 8-6 with a walk-off in the ninth, scored five runs combined in the eighth and ninth. Uh, Boise scored set four in the seventh, not seven in the fourth. Um, must have been a wild game. I mean, look at that chart. I don't know why Boise's green, but look at that chart. <laughs> Bottom of the ninth, Orem walk off to run home run. Oh, that's you. That's your player. Let's that's see. Hit batting. <laughs> <laughs> Two for four, three RBIs for Jay Doctor. Best batter for Boise. John Schwan Sim, three for four, three RBIs. I saw that he had at least one home run in this game. Uh, he's been heating up lately. The, the end, the, the last few streams, he's hit a lot of home runs. Um, and then where were you? Your third? Oh, you, it was your only hit. Was it the was the off. only hit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So who was pitching this game? So you have Shane Green and uh, Drew Lucas. Let's see. Uh, the win goes in relief to Buster Nuts, who went two and a third. Uh, who did not give up any runs. Tristan Lung the blown save. So no. Zero ERA. So, I don't. Four runs, zero of them earned. Uh, the loss going in really to Mac Arian, who gave up three earned runs in just one inning pitch, and the hold goes to Matty Paul. Player of the game is Zhang Shuan Sim in this one. So we have all elimination games everywhere, <laughs> every single place. Yay. Um, there are no games in the minors. I'm going to start the timer. We did get something. Uh, so I, I, I do have a few things. So I'm going to finish today. Yeah, do you want to start? Yeah. It looks like the Voyagers have something. The Dillos has something. Yep, Dilla, I saw Dillos first. Um, so, yeah. Dilla Dillos. Make sure, that, yeah, make sure that Davis Campbell is playing instead of Sp- – is this supposed to be Spock? Or is it Spacock? Sp- uh, Sp- I just have to make sure. So, it's like a chicken. let's see. So, Dilla Dilla Dillos. Nope, Spock is not – or Spock should not be in, so I need to change that. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> well, I know, but their lineup has it set up that Spock is, is not supposed to be starting. So, right. So I need to take him out for now and put Campbell in. Yep. And then yeah, just give him the yeah. do that. I will do a thumbs up there. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I just want to drag him over in the depth. Fine. So it says the H. You see, I don't know, I like it. <laughs> okay, so let's check that one to make sure that settled in. Yep. Um, cool. Probably one more minute to GMs if you want to make changes. And then the Void Boys had a thing. Yep. Remove all pitch counts from their starters. <clears throat> remove all pitches from their starters. Yep. Just remove all their starters. Uh, so the question I have is. <clears throat> 130, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, either sets all zero or sets all 130. I was going to say 130 just for safety. <clears throat> and throw the thumbs up in there. Okay. Let's see anything else. The Dillos, thank you. So nice. No Dynamo changes. Uh, LGM, we had a guy DH for two days in a row, but it's 50 50. Okay, wait, 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 wait. LGM is Dillos. So yeah, yeah that was there. what we. And it was technically yeah. not 50 50. It was every. Two days, so he should have been yeah. DHing today. Ooh. I don't know why it wasn't, but we fixed it. Yeah. Okay. I don't. Was there anything else in the Twitch chat for past two minutes? <clears throat> it's time for Dilla Dilla. We have some 
Dilla Dilla uh, Dilla Dilla yeah. Dilla 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 Uh, oh, L LBG tagged me and said Dillos now. What? What we just we saw Dillos. I just I'm telling you what he put in. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what we are gonna do for this one is set up a yeah, prediction. What we do. Oh, you you do it. I, I am. I who I, I will don't. win game three? <laughs> LBG, you monster. <laughs> <laughs> Dallas or Chicago? All right. Give you guys a heads up. You got one minute when I click start. Who's going to win game three? Dallas or Chicago? Chicago if you're a mod, like you cannot do that. That's your true. sweet channel points. So you got a minute. And we are over. You are a mod. You yeah. or a mod need to confirm the outcome within 24 hours. Got it. Well, 24 hours? Yeah, we have apparently 24 hours. So, yeah. <laughs> you guys got a minute. To uh, put in your votes, and we were over a hundred there for just a second. That was awesome to see. Yeah, right now for me, it's saying ninety six, but uh, the stream manager can sometimes be a little finicky. Whoa, a lot of people are putting wow, a lot of money on Dallas. But don't, don't yeah, 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 who who do you think? Whoa, who just dropped fifty k on Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, what do you, what, what's your prediction? I don't have one. Outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing about uh, the miners anymore. I've stopped paying attention. I, I mean, yeah, that kind of happens sometimes unless yeah. um, that you're in the miners' war room or yep. you're a miners' GM. It can sometimes happen. Frost, uh, you, <laughs> you cannot uh, mods. Yeah, mods can't. Is oh, it steel? Yep. Yeah, I can't. I can't either. Neither can I. I can't okay. Spend all my money. We've get. We've got our fun in. Let's do this. Kingpins, Yay! Dynamos, Barry B. Benson versus Winston Ingram. Game three. Four. Let's go. Ten. All right, all right, are you, you going to do this one? You going to yeah. say the words? Nope. First, I'm okay, going cool. to remove the thing as uh, Salian. Oh, boy. That's already going to be a name for me to pronounce. Uh, Salian grounded out to third base. Edwards flies that one out to center field. English gets hit by that pitch. Charge the mound. Dang it. Uh, Parmeli takes a walk. So runners on first and second for Christus. As he flies out to left field. Stranding two on base. Picone grounds that one to the second baseman for the first out. Theeks grounds that one to the second baseman for the second out. Jacob grounds that all. Oh, sends that to center field for a single. Good for Jacob. Chungus flies that one out to left field to end. The bottom of the first. 0-0. Zero, zero. Par Parmali. Par Sorry. I haven't seen any of these new names before. Uh, Crunk grounds out to the first baseman. Barry lines out to the shortstop. Ah! Strikes out. Well, okay. That, no, that's not. <laughs> Jimenez sends that one to center field for a double. Sandwiches gets that one into center field. Are they going to send the runner home? They will. Safe. The Kingpins grab the lead. Gray. What? That was a drop third strike. And they'll get the out. Frank sends that one to left field. They test the arm. Safe. As Chicago puts another run on the board. Terry sends that one to right field for a double. And Picone. Grounds out to the second baseman. That's familiar. Uh, Bodnar grounds that one to the first baseman for the first out. Celine, ah, that might be it. Celine sends that one into center for a single. Edwards sends that one into left for a follow-up single. English, what the heck was the runner on second doing? That was weird. He like dived back to the to the base. English flies out and Parmali. Rounds out to the shortstop. Kaylian. Kaylian. Oh boy. Lots of new names. 
Feeks sends that one to left field for a single. Jacob grounds to the second baseman and they get the fielder's choice. Chungus grounds that one to the second baseman and they get the fielder's choice. Jimenez grounds that one. Oh, it was almost to the second baseman. That was to the pitcher. So Parmalee and Kaylee Ann. Krustis grounds that one to the second baseman for the first out. Crunk grounds that one to the shortstop for the second out. Barry flies out to left field. Three up, three down for the Dynamos. Pork chop sandwiches sends that one to right field for a single. Gray grounds to the third baseman, and they get a double play. 5 4 3 as Hank grounds to the third baseman to end the bottom of the fourth. Ah! Whoa! That's a home run! <laughs> mm. That's a 459-foot mm -hmm. home run for... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you, you laugh at me, huh? You laugh at my play. Let's go! <laughs> Bodnar flies out to center field. Uh, Kaylee Ann flies out to left field. And Edwards sends that one to right field. That hits the wall, and that's going to be a double. English, a little tapper to the pitcher, will end the top of the fifth. Scary Terry looks pretty scary with that mustache as he flies out to left field. Picone grounds to the center fielder for a single. Feeks sends that one to center field for a single. Jacob loads the bases with a walk, and big Chungus will strike out. That's all right. We still got another, another chance as Jimenez blows the doors wide open with a 404-foot grand slam. Sandwiches sends that one to left field for a single, and this fifth inning is continuing. Uh, well, no longer as Gray does pop out to the shortstop. But just as Dallas was starting to climb back, Parmalee Parma gets hit by that pitch, charges the mound. <laughs> Come on, someone make this game fun. Krustis flies out to right field for the first out. Crunk flies out to center field for the second out. And Barry sends that one to center. That's actually going to be a single, so runners on the corners for... Who grounds that one to the third baseman to end the inning? Aww. Frank <laughs> sends that one to center field for an out. Scary Terry with his scary mustache grounds out to the second baseman. And Picone grounds out to the first baseman unassisted. Bodnar grounds out to the shortstop for the first out. Kaylee Ann grounds out to the shortstop for the second out. And Edwards, that pitcher is very skinny, flies out to uh, left field. That's almost as skinny as Balkeen. Vincent Gambini, you need to eat a sandwich, man. Feeks flies out, or lines out to the uh, shortstop there. Jacob will strike out swinging. And Chungus sends that one to center field. And so Sig Ripper sits the kingpins down, three up, three down. English will strike out swinging. Seriously, Gambini, you're skinny, dude. Par Parmalee will ground out to the second baseman. And Krustis sends that one into center field for a single. Crunk. That's going to be an infield hit. Runners on first and second for Barry. Oh, no. Here he is. Uh, uh, oh. No. <laughs> That's sad. Uh, bases were loaded and uh, grounds out to the first baseman. Jimenez sends that one to right field, and that's going to actually drop it in for a single. Sandwiches pops that one up to the second baseman. Gray takes a walk. Runners on first and second for Frank, who flies out to right field, and they hold the runner at second. Belcher now on the mound gets the ground out out of scary Terry. And to the top of the ninth we go. Three outs, five runs. Bodnar, Kaylee Ann, and Edwards. As Bodnar leads things off well with a single. Kaylee Ann, grounder to the shortstop, and the 6-4-3 double play. 
that's going to be the nail in the coffin as Edwards grounds to the first baseman. And Chicago will advance to the Minor League World Series as they take a sweep over Dallas. That shocks me. I am surprised by that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, go, let's, go, let's go through the box score. Yeah. Uh, what, what happened? We'll just run them. Yeah, so Kingpins win 6-1. to one. I was finishing up the uh, the prediction there. Uh, three Ooh. hits from Jimenez and Sandwiches. Uh, Jimenez having four RBIs and two runs. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's the offense. Benson takes the win. Gambini takes the save. Ingram takes the loss, and Chris Jimenez is your player of the game. Yeah, and as a player on the Dynamos, congratulations to Chicago. Uh, congratulations. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I still have zero career uh, uh, minor league playoff wins with either of my players. So that's fun. Uh, but yeah, now we head over to the 66ers at the Dillos. This uh, is also an elimination game. The Dillos will lead the series 2-0. Uh, you guys get right into it. We'll have Randy Myths uh, leading off for the 66ers. Or do you, uh, do you want to do a prediction? I'm sorry, prediction. Yeah. You yeah, guys have one minute. That's, that's, that's okay. I'll, I'll, you know. One minute. Go. 66ers and the Dillo Dillos. Dillo Dillos do lead the series 2-0. But they are back in Dillo Town. I don't know what it's called. The, the, the Dillo Dome. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, keep in mind this is in production. Six Sixers dominated the Myers this season, broke the single season uh, win percentage record uh, as a team. They have like seventy something wins. It, it, it was pretty crazy. Uh, we got um, Let's go check. Check what? They had seventy seven oh, yeah. wins. That's a lot. They were 25 games up on the Dillos. Yeah. So, uh... We're gonna go ahead and get going. We're going? Okay. I should be able to... I'll do this one, and then I'll probably have to get off. Okay. Um, because I have a meeting. Sounds but good. If the stream's still going after my meeting, then I will come back! Sure. <laughs> Sounds good. You, you, you can press the thing. I'm maybe I'm not ready. Randy Myth leads us off. Oh, this view is nice. It's As nice. Randy Myth will strike out swinging to start off the game. Rodriguez up to bats. Rodriguez will get that one past the infield for a single. Bougie will not do anything as Rodriguez is caught stealing. Bougie gets a single into right field, bringing up Jackie Daytona, but not before Bougie tries to steal second. That's how it works. Daytona will uh, find one into shallow center. I have to practice speaking more. Herc Swerve up to bat first for the Dillos. Swerve will get the lead off hit in the right field, bringing up uh, Dan King. Swerve going to try to steal second. He's safe. Dan King gets that one into center field. That's caught for round number one. Bringing up Cedric Winters, who's hit this one deep to right field. That's going. That's not gone, but right into the... What? 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 An infield. <laughs> it's like the park home. What? What? <laughs> that is only the second I've seen. That what? barely seen in the park, and then he just kept running. He just didn't stop. So... The inside of the park home run gives the Dillos the 2 nothing lead. <laughs> wow. As Longo will get the first out, and Pretzelman will get a, a, a single as four straight strikes out. Looking, so two outs here with a runner on first. And Rembev... Gosh, I... Rembev... Why is it so much hard to say when you're the one? <laughs> Rembev... Rembeverwinkle. It's not... A, <laughs> right, it's from Bethesda. Yep, yeah. Chess Sims will ground out to second. As Campbell up to bat, will ground out to first. 
and Knight will not ground that at all. Good night, two out hits. Here comes uh, the one into right field, caught for number three. The Dillons still lead this game 2 nothing. heading into the top of the third. Randy Myth up to bat. Randy Myth, close play at first, is going to be thrown out by the third baseman. Rodriguez will fly out to left field, and Bougie will ground out to the first baseman. So three up, three down there for the 66ers. Top of the order for the Dillos. Kirk Swerve up to bat. Kirk Swerve gets a hit right up the middle. One on, no outs for Dan King. And Dan King says, hey, I can get a hit too. Two on, no outs for Cedric Winters. And Winters says, okay, I'll let you guys just move over. Oh, uh, no, wait, that's a hit? Base is loaded for Cowboy. That was hit deep enough to score another run. And the runner taps up from third. It's only one out with two runners on. For Steve Rogers, who will strike out some game. Chesson's up now with two outs. Can they score another run out of a hit? This one is center field caught. So it deals with the bases loaded and no outs score one, which I think is uh, something that the Sixers will be okay with right there. Check Daytona. It will fly out to center. For out number one, Luongo will strike out looking. For out number two, Pretzelman up to bat now. Will get a hit. Oh, wait, what? How did why I thought why, why are there people on bases? Pressman steals second for straight up to bat. Now we'll get that one to left field. That'll be deep enough to send the runner home as the Sixers sit sit score their first run of the game. I swear there are people that two people that grounded out. If there was an error, pro I don't know what just happened there. From Bever Winkle, you disappointed me. <clears throat> Campbell up will get a leadoff hit here for the Dillo, still up by two. As Knight will not do anything, as there's a wild pitch. And Knight now will fly out <laughs> the center field. As Hickam will move the uh, runner along, and the runner will score off of the double. Back up to the top of the order for Kirk Swerve. Only one out. Now there's two outs as he strikes out. Dan King, a base hit will score a run. Dan King does not. Flies out to the <clears throat> Shortstop. Top of the fifth now. Dillon's increase your lead back up to three. As Vanderbilt will get the lead off hits here. That's the top of the order for Randy Myth. That's going to be back to back hits. And we'll have runners on the corner with no outs. Still attempt. Safe. So runners in scoring position. As Rodriguez will get a base hit as a single, a two RBI single. As the lead is now cut down to just one for Bougie, who will get that one in the center field that's down. The runner stays at second. They tone up. Well, this fumble bumble. Base is low. No outs. As Rulongo will ground to a foolish choice. And they will get the double play. Clutch play there as Pressman will fly out to left field. Wow. No runs coming from the base is low. No outs. But they got their runs before that. So the still just a one run game here. Such a pointers will ground out to the shortstop. Cowboy will hit this one into shallow. What? Jesus. That was dropped. Yeah, that's the fumble bumble. That's where just flies out. Or it start pops up. And Chess Sims will ground out. Cowboy, you know, he he just he just scares everyone. Okay, don't catch his uh pop-up. Four straight now we'll ground to the short slot. Remember when we go up. I said it right. Okay, base head to left field because I said his name right. Then I built with one runner on. We'll get another hit. So we now have two on, one out, back up to the top of the order for myth. And Myth says that one's left field. That's down on the foul uh, line. That's good for a double. Only one run scores, but you have a tied game. One out for Rodriguez. That's going to be uh, caught in center field. That's going to be deep enough to send a runner home, but he's tapped out. Caught Kirk Swerve with the cannon out of center field. The game is tied, though, as Campbell grounds out the first out, and Knight will hit this one. To center field, that is a fly out for out number two. And Hickam will get the two out walk back up to the top of the order. Kirk Swerve just threw out the runner, and now he's going to get a base hit. Runners on the corners with two outs for Dan King. And that's going to be a wild pitch. The runner scores. They'll take the lead back up five to four. With King still up in the, uh, the plate, will pop out into the uh, foul territory. But the Dillos. Get their lead back. This has been a very good game. Top of the seventh now. 
as Bucci will fly up to right field. Daytona up will strike out looking. And Luongo up will be a 1 2 3 inning. Let's find out. This will not be a 1 2 3 inning as Luongo sets that one deep to right field, 399 feet to tie the game. A two out one a solo shot. Pressman, what's he want to do to respond to that? He will ground down to the first base. This has been a very good game. Stretch a little bit bottom of the seven. Uh, Cedric Winters. Ba uh, ba ba ba! <laughs> Cedric Winters stretched. <laughs> As Cedric Winters sends a solo shot down the left field line, 395 feet, <laughs> to give the Dillows their lead back. Look, look at this. Uh, There's only been one inning where a team has not scored. That was in the second. This has been a lot of action. Who says baseball is boring? Lots of people, but it's, you know, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> After the solo shot, a quick three outs there is what the Sister Sisters needed and got as we head back up for Sister Sisters. Top of the eighth, four straight with a lead off hit here. Start the inning from Beverwinkle. Strikes out. I did say his name right. Didn't do well. That's not my fault. Vanderbilt. Look at that one down in left field. It's a two on, one out. Randy Myth up to bat. Strikes out looking. Need to swing the bat to get some runs, maybe. Rodriguez draws what bases loaded two outs for uh, Bad and Bougie. And that's going to go down for him. That can score more than one. That scores two. As the Sisters Sister takes their first lead of the game, I think. Daytona now, another hit will give them more runs. That is a pop up to a pitch. But the Sisters Sister score two to take the lead. Bottom of the eighth. <laughs> this is a wild. Campbell will ground out to the second baseman. Knight. Wolf uh, hit this one to center field. It's going to be caught out there for out number two. And Hickam will hit this one to right field. That's caught for out number three. Top of the ninth now. Sister Sisters are leading by one, winning seven to six. Lou Longo had the solo shot earlier to tie the game. Now it's going to pop out to the third baseman. Pressman will ground out to the second baseman and four straight with this one deep to center field. That's gone. Wow. 453 feet. Straight to center, extending their lead to two. Sissy Sisters now lead eight to six. Another two a run uh, shot. Ron Beverwinkle up, and Ron Beverwinkle will uh, fly pop this little in between to the third baseman. Dillos three outs to score two runs. Kirk Swerved cannot get anything done. The first out of the inning. Dan King will get a base hit. <clears throat> it's a tying runner at the plate. If we can try to steal second, no. As Winters will fly to left field, Cowboy up, two outs. Cowboy grounds out to the pitcher. As the sisters, 66ers escape elimination in this thriller of a game to win it, eight to six. Whew. Wow. Let's see. A lot of three hit games for both teams. Uh, we got, uh, yeah, you keep moving things. Ben Bougie went three for five, two RBIs. Uh, Vanderbilt went three for four. Kirk Swerve, three for five, two runs. Cedric Winters, probably the best batter of the game, going three for five with three RBIs and two runs. Wow. <laughs> Lots of things going on. Let's see what happened with pitching. Both decisions going in relief. Um, very good job by Mountain, uh, the Diblo starting pitcher. Didn't give up any runs. Let's see decisions. Uh, Daly gets the win going three innings, only giving up one run. The loss goes to Omega, giving up three runs in his two innings pitch. Also got a uh, tag with a blown save. Player of the game is Cedric Winters. Wow, wow, wow. <sighs> I will say, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I mean, be beyond wanting to see these games go a little longer, um, this does make it so I don't have to mess with the... <laughs> The start time of the World Series for the Miners, and that is very nice. Oh yeah, that's true. <sighs> well, okay, uh, yeah, that finishes up wait. that. So okay, let, let me start a timer. Um, we have to change the lines for both the both Voyagers, Voyagers and, and the yep. Toros. Already on it. Regardless, yep. Uh, let's oh see, look, they are so, someone oh. someone sent me a thing. Of, oh look at that! Someone sent me a picture of a cat on Snapchat. Oh my gosh, who would do such a thing? They're a horrible. Oh person. no. <laughs> No, look at sunshine. <laughs> no. Oh, I can report your snap.
<laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Too cute. Okay, yeah, those are the same. <clears throat> Okay, so af <clears throat> after you okay. switch the lineups, the Dillos Perfect. have asked us to uh, look at their bullpen. Can we look at our bullpen rest after today? Might potentially want Huff to set. Um, yeah, option. so we can do it. I would say we can do it after. Oh, no, they're playing. Well, the it, 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 oh. yeah, it, yeah, so, yeah, so take a look now. Um, this is... If they want to make a decision now, can. Um, we'll probably do oh majors games yeah, next. Yeah, majors games for next. Question yeah. mark. Yep. I'm so majors games next. if you don't want to make this decision right now, all right. There <clears throat> is your bullpen rest LGM. Ah, that's a good thing. You got uh, Bunbury, Morgan, Tano, and Thomas is not used. Uh, TLK, the Sixty Sixers uh, survived the last game. And they won eight to six. It was a very, very uh, crazy game throughout. Yeah. Huff to reserve. Okie dokie. <laughs> Artichoke? No. No. There's no artichokes. Oh, that's so sad. All right. Looks like no one else has got anything for us. Uh, my yeah, my camera's about to hit two minutes. I didn't see anything from any of the major teams outside of make sure to change the lineups. I know, did. Um, I can stick around for, maybe for one more game. I can commentate. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to do go oh, to your I meeting, stick around. No, I, it's not for fifteen minutes. Go I'll, to your I'll commentate. Meeting. I want to commentate the Scorpions losing. Come on. All right. <laughs> do you, say, do, do you want watch... predictions? We did watch yep. that game first, so... Yep. Yeah, yeah start a prediction for the Scorpio Scorps game and the uh, Boise's. Let me tag our... <laughs> win game three. Uh, Let so me tag our players. Tell them where... Uh, stream. You guys got a minute. Go and vote. I just know a lot of people in our locker room. <laughs> that just plugged in my inner bud super card. It sounds different tonight. <laughs> 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 That's good. That's good. Oh, Scorpy Scorps are adorby, adorby, adorby. <laughs> okay, this, this, this does not sound cute. <laughs> adorby Dorb. This will be my uh, D and D character. There you go, Dorby Dorb, Dorby Dorb, Adorby Dorb. Semantic claw man hybrid with a yep, just a claw, a claw man, a le legit crap thing named Dorby Dorb. <laughs> oh wow, lots of, lots of, oh, got some Raptors votes. PM, go drunk, you're home. <laughs> Not a lot of votes for this game three. Not a lot of votes? Yeah, it was only like a total of 8,000 points voted or used. Oh. Yeah. Well. That's what's said. All right, I'm doing this one, aren't I? What? No, 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 oh. I, I'll do this one. You're doing this one. Because it, cause it'll go kind of quickly. I'll just be late to my meeting. Wait, before you start, let me just tell them I may be a few minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> I may be a few minutes late. Cool. We can get started whenever you are ready. The last uh, uh, the last game was, was very close. The Serpents yeah. walked it off in the ninth. Um, and th we're, we're in Boise. It's should be a close game to start it. So, oh, go ahead. so, so I could do it. Holding a fart will get us started. As holding a fart, what is he going to do? He's going to hit this one to the left field. That is caught. Front number one, James Love strikes out swing. Is, did he make it go faster? Too faster. It's been this speed. I just seem so much faster. It's Andrew Orb. Stinky, stinky, stinky. We'll line up to second baseman. Three up, three down. No hits for Death Valley. Bottom of the first, we have Iso, Fenerys, and McDavid up for the Raptors. That's to be a leadoff hit from Steve Iso. Fenerys will be uh, getting another hit. So back to back hits to start off the game here. McDavid is up, and that's going to be a walk. Bases low and no outs for Petra Sabar. Sabar, out. I don't know how she uh, pronounces it. But that is going to be a strikeout looking, so double play in action. And they're not going to get it. Johnny Pluto gets that one into the outfield for a hit, as Boise will score two very quickly, very similar to what we saw happen last game. SJ Doctor will get another hit. 
as Harry Styles is giving up a good amount of hits, good amount of runs as he walks with bases loaded. Still only one out with Parker Bochamp up. Bases loaded as that should be a pop. That'll be an info fly rule for at least. And Bland will strike out swinging, but Boise scores three runs off of four hits in the bottom of the first inning. A very good start for them. As Elliot Lefebvre will be the first base runner for Defelli with the walk. And a uh, wild pitch moves Lefebvre over to second. Fullman up to bound. Fullman will ground out to the shortstop. As Zhang Swanson, who had a couple of home runs in the last game, or in the series, strikes out swinging two outs for Willie Colon. Colon hits that one deep to right field, 428 feet, cutting this lead down to one. His first, uh, second? His second home, second home run of the playoffs. There, yeah, there we go. As Alex Alderson will get that one down to left field. That's down for a two-out hit, bringing up Speedy Gonzalez. And this one is deep to center field. That is caught up there at the warning track uh, by McDavid. So definitely puts a little bit of dent into this lead. But Boise is right back to the top of the lineup as Iso will strike out swinging. Then Reese up next had a hit his last time up. And this time, he's going to be hitting it deep to center field, and that's caught out there. Another very good um, hit ball. As McDavid will get that one down the outfield for a single. Yes, Boer will get that one down the outfield for a single. So two on, two outs for Johnny Pluto, who will strike out. So a little bit of a scare there with a couple of hits. As we head to the top of the third, Boise still leading 3-2. to two. Top of the order for Death Valley. is holding the fart. Gets that one into the gap, 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 gap. That's good for a double. He's always a threat to steal the bases as James Love strikes out looking. Our right, Andrew Orm up, and here's the uh, steal attempt. He's caught. His Andrew Orm will ground out to the third baseman. So a couple of strikeouts, a couple of bad decisions, and uh, and Orm being bad. Jake Doctor hits one into the outfield. That's caught. A good range up there by Ian Fullman. As Jason Boone will get a hit into left field. <clears throat> one on, one out for Bochamp. Will ground out. Fielder's choice. No double play. They don't even attempt it. As Blonde will strike out looking to end the third. Four, five, six. Batters up for Death Valley. To start off the fourth. Lefave will ground out to the shortstop. Ian Fullman up now. Fullman will hit this one to center field. That's going to be caught by the center fielder. And John Tron Sim will draw the walk. Willie Cologne up to bat. It's a steal attempt. It's going to be safe at second. Willie Cologne will ground out. Right to the first baseman. Bottom of the fourth. Top of the order for Boise. Steve Iso. Iso will get that one right under the third baseman's glove. That's good for extras. And it'll be a double. Finn Reese. Oh no. Wild pitch first. As yeah, Iso moves over to third. And now McDevitt will head into outfield. Will they send the runner? They do play at the plate. Safe. As Boise extends their lead to two. Uh, so when their fourth run, McDavid up now. Get that one right past the third baseman. And that is a one-out single. As, again, they are targeting uh, the third baseman as they get a couple of hits. And three, four, ten hits. I don't even know how many hits they've uh, gone over to the left side. As Doctor was that one to outfield. And they are going to have play, play again safe. Boise scoring their second run off of a sack fly in this inning. She's moving up now as Dusty Collins comes into the game to pitch. So Death Valley is using their bullpen early as finally a ball is hit to the third baseman and Gonzalez makes a play on it. <laughs> Boise scores two to extend their lead to three as Elliot Alderson will ground out to, skip, to start us off. And Gonzalez will also ground out for out number two. Holds in a fart here. We'll get that one into the gap for extra bases. That's going to be good for a two out double. James Love up. And that one will not get past the shortstop. Good play there to prevent anything from happening. Bottom of the fifth now. A 9-1-2 batters up for Boise. That's a bland to be good for a lead-off single. And back-to-back -back hits. Iso uh, from Iso. So now we get runners at the corners. No outs. Steal attempt. He is caught. So runner at third. One out. A walk here from Dusty Collins. Puts Finneries on first. McDavid, that's going to get down. This will score some runs. That's going to be good for a double. And right. the play at third, say, so a triple gives Boise a five-run lead now. Still in the bottom of the fifth. Now with two outs. As Spore goes down looking. 
Uh, Pluto will run out to the shortstop, but lots of runs on the board here in the past few innings from Boise. The Scorpions need to uh, look to make a comeback top of the sixth now as Andrew Orm will ground out. Elliot Lefebvre will ground out. Two quick outs here. Ian Fullman up. Ian Fullman says that one deep. And that one is out of here. Solo shot uh, to limit this lead down to just four. Uh, Fullman sending that one out into left center. Chong Swan Sim, the hottest batter for the Thali, will draw a walk here. Bring up Lily Cologne, who had a home run earlier. And that was get down for a base hit. So a two out rally, maybe. Elliot Alderson will ground out to the pitcher. Close play over there. A little awkward play. Uh, but Boise still up by four, going into the bottom of the sixth. Jay Doctor strikes out swing. Justin Sims is in the game uh, for the Thali pitching. Jason Boone. Uh, we'll strike out swinging, so, you know, a couple of strikeouts here for Justin Sims. Is he bad? Who knows? Maybe he's good. No, he's bad. Uh, Parker Bochamp will ground out to the second baseman, so a quick 1-2-3 inning right there is what the Scorpions needed. Top of the seventh. Here we come. Steve Gonzalez will get his lead led off, and he's going to set that one out of the park. 432 feet into left center. A couple of solo shots there, scoring a couple of runs for the Scorpions in these past two innings. And we head to the top of the order with no outs as Holden of Heart will line out to the shortstop. James Love, not having a great game, will ground out to the shortstop. And Andrew Orem, who is stinky, will get a double. <laughs> to out double Lefebvre up to bat. Lefebvre will ground out to the third baseman. Scorpions get another run on the board, but still down by three as we head to the bottom of the seventh. I'm stretching a little bit. A little bit too da, 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 da. Well, fly out to right field. Steve Iso having a great game. Three hits. Does not get one here. Strikes out swinging. Finn Reese also had a really good game um, with his one hit earlier. Uh, sends that one to center field. Oh, a fumble. Bumble out there is going to uh, allow Finn Reese to get over to third. Wow. And uh, McDavid can't uh, put the ball in play with strike out. So the error does not come. Or it's not even count as error. That was just a hit. Wow. Uh, Ian Fulman will strike out swing there to start the eighth. John Sean Sim up to bat. The Scorpions need to score some runs. As Sim will hit, hit that one deep and high to center field. I don't, that one off the screen, uh, but that one is caught out there. Two outs now. Willie Cologne gets a single. Elliot Alderson draws the walks. Uh, Steve Gonzalez, who had the home run earlier, up to bat. Sends it one to the outfield. Caught. To limit any runs from scoring, a great catch out there by McDavid. Uh, bottom of the eighth now, Spore will strike out again. Uh, Johnny Pluto up to bat. What time is it? Okay, this is actually a good time. Pluto sends that one to left field, caught for out number two. J Doctor, last chance to put something on the board, draws a walk. As Chase and Boone want, they want to extend their lead, will strike out. Tristan Lung uh, keeps into the game. Beth Valley trying to end the series. Down by three, needs to score at least three in the top of the ninth as Hope Nafar strikes out looking. Can they make a comeback again? James Love up to bat 0 for 4 on the day. Now 0 for 5. Two quick outs against you, Orm. is stinky. And no one is his friend because he draws walks. <laughs> Elliot Lefebvre still, uh, up to bat. Two outs, still down by three. Lefebvre, that one to center. Caught. Boise he stays alive in this series, winning this game 7-4 to four at home. Uh, I could probably do uh, this box score because I have enough time. <laughs> 15 hits for the Raptors at home. Wow. Uh, off, they had that great, great start in the first inning. Um, Willie Cologne went three for four, two RBIs, had himself a game. Uh, but so did a lot of players for Boise. Steve Gibson went three for five. He had McDavid going three for four with two RBIs, probably the best batter of this game. Uh, Pluto went two for five. A lot of good stuff all around. Oh. Yep. Do you want to scroll Sorry. down a little bit? You want, you want to do the yep. scrolling scroll? Do both. Uh, Bill Biswick. Yep. Got the win, giving up two and a runs in five innings pitched. Uh, the loss um, goes to Harry Styles, who gave up five and runs in 11 hits in three and two thirds. Uh, both teams go into their bullpen. Uh, they have three relievers for each team pitch. Uh, the hold goes to Walter White. Save goes to Matt Arium. Who only need to, th to throw one out through four pitchers, pitches to get the save. 
not a bad deal. Player of the game is Connor McDavid. I have to jump off and go to my meeting. Um, so I hope I'll be back if things are still going on in like half an hour to an hour. Uh, but good luck to all the teams. Um, and then if any GMs are listening, just make sure to tag goal instead of tagging me. If you were going to tag anyone, yep. you don't need to. Um, so yeah, uh, but 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 doopity doop. So um, uh, I don't scoopity scoop. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh boy. Well, give you guys a bit of time here. Um, extra minute this time to decide the Tauros and Voyagers prediction. We'll be going on to there. I want to just double check that I set up their lineups. Voyagers are at home, so they're at New York, and they are at New York, and the Tauros are, where's Tauros? Tauros are at New York. And they are at New York. Okay. Excellent. It's quiet now. It's just me. Well, as that series in Boise goes 1 and 2, we will see what happens in New York. The Tauros... Currently 2-0 and o lead over the Voyagers. Um, I'm going to actually take my headphones off because I no longer need them on. I'm going to stop. Okay, hang on. I need to click all the right buttons. Stop streaming there. Leave the call with me in person, man. He'll call me back if he needs to. All right. Oh, this is a comfortable now without the headphones on. Boy, that's a lot of points. I think that was like 400,000 points. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Well, Cancun, Voyagers, no headphone sim hype. Let's get going. Joey Slothface, 471 ERA with a 140 whip. And Kid Carsey, 315 ERA and a 101 whip and an awake cat. So, Revan Knox is going to lead us off for Cancun. Hitting three oh or hitting uh, one twenty five in the playoff so far flies out to the field. Salmons the second takes a walk on over to first. Cade Munson sends this one into center field for a single. Runners on first and second. Anthony Bauer grounds out to the third baseman in five four three double play style. R.J. Menard for the Voyagers sends that one past the second baseman for a single. Arjun Menard on the run and steals second easily. Stevenson's going to bring that man home from second, and that's why you steal bases as the Voyagers take a 1-0 lead. Hard and long will strike out swinging. Tom Shu sends that one to center field, and the Voyagers pick up a 2-0 lead. Barbados Slim. Ooh, diving play at second gets the out. They're going to send the runner on a DLACO single to left, and they've picked up three in the first. Grant ready in to right field will end the inning finally, but not before New York goes up three to nothing. Ace Carter sends this one to center field for a single. Farley Hank will strike out swinging. That's the first of the night for Slothface. Make this another 5-4-3 double play, exactly as they wrote it up, out of Michael Fitted. Eric Rivers, deep to left center, but that was actually not that deep, it was just high. Hodge to the gap, gap, gap in left center field for a double. Menard will take a walk, and this feels reminiscent of the first inning as Stevenson strikes out, and hard and long. Flies out to center. Kid Carsey gets out of the inning. Joey Slothface still on the mound. Strikes out Watermelon Walrus. Tanner Hopman sends this one. Yeah, Hopman. 
to right field for a single. With Hopman on the move, Knox grounds out to second. And Sammons will ground out to shortstop to end the top of the third. Tom Shu high to left center for the first out. Barbados slim. That's a no doubter. That's like eight or nine rows up, 426 feet solo home run. Another run for Ban or uh, the Voyagers. Boy, them could be Vancouver. Delacio flies out to right, and Grant Iridian flies out to center. Cade Munson leading things off in the top of the fourth with a walk. Anthony Bauer, victim of a double play. Almost the victim of another one, but they'll get the fielder's choice at second. Ace Carter will strike out swinging. And Farley Hank sends this one to center field for the final out of the fourth inning. Eric Rivers sends this one to right center. And that's going to get caught. The first out. Hodge to straightaway right for the second out. And that's going to be an infield single from Menard. Menard on the move. Going to put runners on the corners with a single from Stevenson. And hard and long grounds into the fielder's choice at third. Michael Fitted will pop this one up. Barely fair territory. Walrus grounds out to the second baseman. And Tanner Hopman will ground out to the third baseman. Tom Shu sends this one to left field for the first out. Barbados Slim strikes out, looking the third of the night for Carsey. Delacio grounds out to the second baseman, and that will end the bottom of the fifth. Knox grounds out to the third baseman for the first out. Sam's the second, grounds out to the first baseman. And Cade Munson will strike out, swinging Sloth's face fourth of the night. Grant Iridian with a solo shot just over the wall, 406 feet. Puts New York up five to nothing. Brass Lemon now on the mound for the Toros. Gets a grounder out of Eric Rivers. Gets his first strike out of the night against Dylan Hodge. And gets his second, followed there by RJ Menard. Bauer at the plate. Gets that one past the shortstop for a single. Ace Carter will strike out swinging Sloth's Faith's fifth. A ball hit to right center field is a double. Runners in scoring position for Michael Fitted takes a walk. Bases loaded. And that's going to be a fly ball to left center field. Will they send the runner from third? They will. And that's an easy, easy out. Boy, oh boy, is that a running mistake from Bauer. Stevenson strikes out swinging Brass Lemon's third of the night, only pitching an inning and a third. Hardalong does get a double. And Tom Shu extends this lead deep to right field, 7 to nothing. The Voyagers lead on a 413-foot two-run home run. Slim strikes out swinging, Brass Lemon's fourth, and he follows it up with his fifth, striking out D'Alessio. Going to the top of the eighth now, Phil Graves on the mound, was in the mound last inning and I did not catch it. Gets the grounder from Hopman and a grounder from Knox, and a grounder from Sammons. That's a good ground ball pitcher. Grant Aridian still in is Brass Lemon, who gets his sixth strikeout. Eric Rivers gets the seventh strikeout for Brass Lemon. And Dylan Hodge will take a walk. RJ Menard gets the grounder to the second baseman. So Brass Lemon, pretty decent three innings with seven strikeouts. Kane Munson flies out to right field. Anthony Bauer gets that one into center field. Seems familiar. Ace Carter gets that one into center field. Runners on first and second. Farley Hank into the right center field gap, and that's going to be the first and second runs for the Toros at the top of the ninth. 
Michael fitted. Whoa, that went straight up in the air to left field, and that'll be the third run in the top of the ninth. Watermelon Rollis sends that one to the right center field gap, and a diving play from their center fielder ends the game as the Vandals, oh my gosh, the Voyagers take game three. So both games, both series in the majors now at one to a piece. So that is a Voyagers win for those that had their predictions. Congratulations. Batting wise, we got two hit days from Menard Stevenson and Tom Shu. Shu going uh, th two for four with three RBIs and two runs. Sloth voice. Phew. Slothface takes the win, Carsey takes the loss, and Joey Slothface is your player of the game. And I just want to shout out Brass Lemon getting seven strikeouts in three innings. That's pretty impressive. Now for our third elimination game of the 4th of November. The 66ers and the Dillos. So let's get our uh, prediction up here. Give you guys just a minute. Who will win game four? 66ers or the Dillos? Prediction has begun. Nothing for me in Discord, so that's good. Got nothing there. Excellent. As the predictions go, 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 your predictions. Boy, a lot of favorites on the Dillo side. Not so much for the 66ers. Y'all are trying to do some crazy stonks here with these uh, channel point bets. But as we take a look at things here, Bill the Hill on the mound for the 66ers and John Barron on the mound for the Dillos. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting matchup here. Four for the 66ers, five for the Dillos, and a tie. Let's get this game going. At the Dillo Dome, game four. Randy Myth to lead things off with a single into left field. Benny Rodriguez gets that one to the third baseman, and that's going to be a 5-4-3 double play. Rem Veverwinkle. Rem Everwinkle will strike out swinging. Barron's first of the night. Swerve gets that one into left center field. Gap, gap, gap. That's going to be an easy double. Make that an easy triple. Make that an easy in the park home run. What? That's the second of the night. What is going on? Dan King grounds the shortstop. Sims sends that one to center field. What nonsense is this? And that's an infield single from Steve Rogers. And that's an error as the bases are loaded now. And they will slightly be punished with a sack fly to left field. Man, there's a lot going on this inning. And that's a walk to Campbell to load the bases. Combs strikes out swinging for the first for Bill the Hill, but the solo home run in the side of the park stands out in that bottom of the first. Wow, that's the second in one night. That's insane. Uh, Bougie grounds the shortstop. Uh, Daytona ground to the third baseman, and Bulongo flies out to center field. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Oh man, Knight grounds out to the third baseman. Swerve takes a walk. If Swerve is not the... That's a stolen base for Swerve. Uh, King sends that one into left field. Runners on the corners. Sims sends that into center field for an RBI. Runners on first and second for Steve Rogers. Captain America himself flies out to center field. Cowboy. Gets that one over the head of the shortstop. Is this going to be a run? It will be. 
as that's an RBI for Cowboy. And already the starting pitcher replaced Bill the Hill is out. Our Moore is in, who gets a fly ball from Winters. Four straight for the 66ers, grounds to the shortstop. Vanderbilt will ground to the first baseman, who will take it himself. And Pretzelman sends that one into shallow left, caught by the shortstop. Three up, three down. Davis Campbell sends that one to center field. He comes, sends that one to left center field gap for a double. Trayvon Knight sends that one to right field for a single. Runners on the corners for Swerve. And that's past the first baseman. That's another single. Runners still on the corners. RBI for Swerve. And Swerve thrown out at first. But Dan King will ground out there to the third baseman. Swerve makes a mental error on the base pads. Randy Myth grounds to the second baseman. Rodriguez follows suit. Rem Everwinkle grounds out to the first baseman to end the inning. Three up, three down, go the Sixters. The Sixters, the 66ers. Sims sends that one to left field for the first out. Rogers gets that one into left field for a single. A cowboy with a wild pitch advances to second. Or sorry, Rogers advances to second. Cowboy ends up striking out the first of the night for Armour. Winters sends that one into right field and it drops in for an RBI. The Dillos are just stacking it on. Campbell sends that one to right center field for the final out of the inning. The Dillos are up six to nothing. Bougie gets hit by that pitch, and he is not going to charge the mound. And Daytona takes a walk on over to first. Bulongo will strike out swinging. Runners on first and second for four straight as Bougie steals second, or steals third. Uh, four straight will strike out swinging, the second of the night for Bunbury. And Vanderbilt grabs to the first baseman unassisted to end the top of the fifth. Hick comes, so, uh, will strike out swinging. Hick comes, Hick comes. Knight will take a walk. Uh, Knight steals second easily. Swerve sends that one to center field for the second out. Dan King sends that one to the shortstop to end the inning. Pretzelman grounds that one to the second baseman. Oh, hiccups. It comes. Gotcha. Myth to the shortstop. And Rodriguez also to the shortstop. For three up, three down. It comes. Sims will strike out looking. Rogers will ground out to the third baseman. And Cowboy sends that one to left field for a single. Winters. Flies out to center field to end the bottom of the sixth. This game's gone kind of quiet since that bottom of the fourth. Rembever Winkle pops that one up. Bougie sends that one to left field, and that's caught. Daytona with a solo shot. Whoa! That is a double-decker solo shot from Daytona, or what would be a double-deck if it was there. 412 feet solo home run. Lulongo grounds that one to the shortstop to end the top of the seventh. Campbell sends that one to center field. Mickups will strike out swinging. Knight takes a walk on over to first. Swerve grounds that one to the third baseman to end the seventh. Four straight will strike out swinging. Vanderbilt pops that one up to the th third baseman or shortstop. They were inside of each other there. That's weird. Brutzman grounds to the second baseman. 
Three up, three down in the eighth. Going down to the last couple of innings here. Dan King grounds to the third baseman. Sims gets a single to right field. Steve Rogers grounds that one to the second baseman. And Cowboy grounds that one to the shortstop. Nothing doing for the Dillos. Three outs to play. Five runs needed to extend this series. Randy Myth tries to help out, but does fly out to right. Rodriguez grounds to the first baseman. Rembever Winkle grounds to the third baseman, and the Dillos are advancing to the Minor League World Series, taking that series in a 3-1 to one victory fashion. So let's close our prediction there on the Dillo Dillos. All right, scrolling down here. Sims goes three for five with an RBI and a run. Um, Bunbury takes the win for the Dillos. The Hill takes his loss and Kirk Swerve, and I believe rightly so with his inside the park home run, is the player of the game. Wait, was there a... Oh, no, I read that wrong. Okay, I need to do something, though. I need... Ooh, I can't do that. Oh, I think it's here. Oh, no, why is it wanting me to enter the password? Okay, hang on. I need to move the start date for the uh, World Series. Or did it schedule itself yet? Okay, hasn't scheduled itself yet. I think I need to advance and then move everything back. So... Let me advance a day, then we'll check in. So, uh, Majors GMs, specifically, actually still everyone. So, Cancun, Voyagers, Scorpions, and Boise GMs. We've got two minutes, or as long as it takes me to uh, figure out how to move the Miners World Series back if I need to, to get in any changes. Let's see, so, Majors, Scores... Advance a day. Okay, so we got games on this day here. Down the minors. Actually, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave this for now. If we have to advance on to tomorrow, I have to move all the games back. However, I am going to very quickly hide my screen from you guys so I can log in. Because I will eventually need to go into here. Yep, okay. So I can easily delete this game and move it forward. Excellent. So another about a minute for our uh, GMs there. They need to get any changes in. Yep, so if I have to, after today's games, I have to go into here to reschedule the uh, World Series. Which I do this, and I say... Dillos, Kingpins. And I go here, and I schedule it. Oh, actually, okay, so that has Dillos, Kingpins. So I would schedule it here. And then I have to push all the games back. <laughs> It's going to be a process. If I have to do it, this is going to be a process that I can technically do at the end of the stream. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to. I don't like doing it. It's not, it's not fun. So we'll see if I have to. All right. And that is the end of our timer for the two minutes. So I'm going to just verify that our Voyagers and Tauros lineups are set. So it should be at New York and at New York. And for the Voyagers, it should be also the same. At New York and at New York. All right. 
we did Scorpions Raptors first, so we're gonna flip flop it. We're gonna do Tauros Voyagers first. All right. Uh, let me get you guys a prediction set up. Do, do, do. Prediction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the password of my luggage. Who will win game four? Tauros or Voyagers? You guys got a minute. <laughs> it's always Swordfish. Oh, uh, that's actually funny. That's a good reference there. I like that one. It's always swordfish. <laughs> Password is guest. Yep. It's all of those combined. It's actually one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, swordfish, guest. Well, actually, so we will be able to hopefully soon here in the future do something with the channel points. Can't say a lot, because I don't know if it's going to be official. But Commissioner and Sim Team is looking into it, of what we could possibly do. Or friends. I like I like the latter. Yeah. All right, jumping in. Tauros Voyagers game four. Uh, ties in pitching. Jose forty three back up. And Sivart back on the mound. Voyagers have the advantage. We're gonna get going. We're just gonna jump right on in. Tauros. Voyagers. Whoa, and immediately Tauros lead things off with a solo home run. Knox on a full count, 412 foot blast. Salmon's the second, does strike out swinging. Munson sends that one to center for a single. Bauer, who bangs, does not do so on that at bat, and flies out to center. Carter will strike out swinging to end the inning, but the Toros jump out in front. Menard takes a walk. Menard steals second, but uh, Stevenson does strike out looking. Harden Long takes a walk. Tom Shu. Takes the lead back from the Toros with his own three-run home run, 380 foot, right over the little scoreboard out in right field. Slim gets a single. It's going to be an infield single for Delacio. Grant Iridian takes a walk and bases are loaded with one out for Rivers. This should be an easy RBI. And it is as Slim tags up from third. Dylan Hodge will strike out swinging to end the bottom of the first. But both teams jump out on the board early. Hank does ground out to the second baseman. Fitted flies out to left. And Walrus grounds out to the second baseman. Uh, RJ Menard sends that one deep to right. That's an out. Stevenson sends that one to the third baseman for the out. And Hard and Long grounds out to the shortstop. Tanner Hopman sends that one into center field for a single. Hopman steals second easily. Knox sends that one to the right center field gap. And that's going to be a double. It's going to be a triple as Cancun gets a run back. Unable to advance the runner. Salmons grounds out to first. Same thing. Munson grounds out to the pitcher. 
Bauer, who bangs, fails to do so as he flies out to right. Tom Shu grounds that one to the shortstop for an out. Slim grounds that one to the first baseman for an out. DLACO sends that one to right field and a diving catch ends the inning. Ace Carter sends that one into center for a single. Ace Carter on the move. Steals second. Strike Hank strikes out swinging. Michael Fitted sends that one to center field. That's going to be an out. Juarez will strike out swinging. Sivart's fourth of this game. Grant Teridians, that's going to be an infield single. Unable to make the play, the third baseman. Rivers, that's a liner out to center field. That's an out. Iridian steals second. Hodge grounds out to the second baseman. And Nard strikes out looking 43's third of the night. Hopman pops up to the catcher. Knox grounds out to the second baseman. And Sammons will strike out swinging Sivarts fifth of this game. Stevenson gives 43 his fourth strikeout. Hard and Long will take a walk. Dasani Voss is now in the game in replace of Sivart. Or, uh, sorry, of 43. As he gives up a solo. So, oh, Jesus. Gives up a single to Shu. A fly ball from Slim scores Hard and Long from third. And Dialacio sends a fly ball to right to end the inning. The Voyagers pick up one run. Score now 5 to 2. Strike three. Munson strikes out swinging. Sivart 6 of the game. Bauer finally gets a hit and sends that one to left center field gap for a double. Carter takes a walk. Runners on first and second for Farley Hank. And he gets that one into the outfield for a single. A run scores for Cancun. Michael Fitted sends that one deep to left field. Are they going to send the runner from second? They do. Runners, runners on the corners for Watermelon Walrus. And he pops this up in the infield. That's not going to do it. Cancun does pick up one. And the game is now 5-3. to three. Iridian flies out to right field for the first out. Eric Rivers flies out to right field for the second out. Dylan Hodge grounds that one to the third baseman to end the inning. Three up, three down. Tanner Hopman strikes out swinging as Fumikaji Takayomi takes the mound and gets his first strikeout. Knox provides the second with a strikeout looking. Salmon's the second. That's a solo shot just over the wall. And that'll put the Toros within one as a 398-foot blast. Cade Munson strikes out swinging Tokoyami with three strikeouts in one inning. RJ Menard lines that one out to left field for an out. Stevenson gets that one past the first baseman, and that's going to be a double. Just a little slow roller. Harden Long takes a walk. Runners on first and second for Shu. Who strikes out swinging Dasani Voss's only strikeout of the game. And then Slim grounds out to the third baseman as Shinkansen came in to end the inning. Max Miller on the mound for the Voyagers. Gives up a single to Bauer. Tying run now at first as Carter strikes out swinging. Farley Hank follows that up with another strikeout. And Michael fitted. Strikes out as well. Max Miller, fantastic outing. Giving up a hit, but striking three out in a row. Delacio pops that one up into shallow center field. Grant Iridian gets a single to left center. Grant Iridian steals second. Rivers takes a walk. Runners on first and second for Dylan Hodge. As he sends this one to left field for an out. RJ Menard sends it one to right, and that'll be the bottom of the eighth. So the Toros need one run to send this to extras, and they have three outs to play with. Walrus does not get things going well as he strikes out to provide Miller his fourth. 
Hopman. That's going to bounce at the wall, and that's a double. Tying run at second. Knox provides Miller his fifth strikeout. And Sammons takes a walk. The running, the go ahead run on first. Jabs. Oh, what a diving catch at third. That saved that game. Jabs is going to thank that third baseman over there. Holy. What a play. What a play as the Voyagers barely hang on to tie up this series. What in the world? Boy. Well, Tom Shu goes two for four with three RBIs and a run leading the Voyagers to victory. Pitching does deserve a little bit of praise here for New York as well as Sivart takes the win. Tokiyami and Miller both get holds and Jabs gets a one out save with three pitches. Jose 43 does take the loss. And the Voyagers take game four as Tom Shu is the player of the game. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, anyone from Tauros and Voyagers, if you want changes other than the lineups, I think lineups have to get changed. I don't remember. I'll have to check. Uh, if you want any changes, you have through the Scorpions-Raptors game to decide. Because we are getting started with the Scorpions and Raptors Game 4. So let's get this prediction going. Who will win Game 4? Scorps or Raptors? You guys got a minute. Checking Discord here. Nothing for us. Nothing for me, I should say. Oh, there is one thing. Line up for game five. Okay. I think Babs still has some stuff for me. So I will look at those and make the changes for the next game. Type out whatever you need, and I will do it after after this. So, um, Scorpions, Raptors, game four. Going forward here. Um... Yerquires Garcia on the mound versus Brent Lemieux. The Raptors have slots one and three, and the Scorpions have everything else. Lots and lots of points, it looks like, for the Scorpions. So let's find out as we get going. Hold in a fart. Pops this one high, high up in the air and caught on the warning track. James Love sends it into center field for a single. Orem strikes out swinging. Lefebvre pops that one up into center for the final out of the inning. Iso. Iso, actually that one's going to land in center field for a double. Ben Reese sends this one to left field, and that's going to be the first out. McDavid gets hit by that pitch, and he's not going to charge the mound, much to my dissatisfaction. Sabre does strike out looking, and that's Garcia's first. Pluto, that's going to score a run, as that's a single in the center field. Doctor, that's going to score another run with another single in the center field, as the Raptors extend their lead 2 to nothing. Chisum Boom takes a walk as Garcia is struggling in this first inning and finally gets out of it with a fly ball to right. Fullman, that's a pop up in the infield. Sim sends that one to first base for an out, and Cologne with a strikeout provides Lemieux with his second. Duke Bland grounds to the 
second baseman. Iso strikes out swinging. Garcia's second of the night. And Finreese flies out to right as Garcia seems to have settled down. Alderson grounds that one to the second baseman. Gonzalez sends that one deep to right, but that's going to stay in the park and is caught. Holden a fart finally gets that one out of the park for a 405-foot solo home run. James Love gets that one into left field for a single. Orem gets that one into right field for a single, and that puts runners on first and second for Lefebvre with a little grounder to the pitcher, and that's not going to score anything as that's the final out of the inning. McDavid sends that one to the shortstop. Petra Sabor sends that one to right field for a single. Johnny Pluto with a liner to the shortstop. Jay Doctor lands that ball in fair territory somehow. Tries and boom with an infield single and bases are loaded for Bochamp. And that's going to be two runs as that's a single to right field. Toot Bland sends that one to left, and this is going to be a base-clearing double. Oh, no! He got thrown out at home! Base-clearing indeed, as that's the third out. But Boise adds three. Fullman sends that one to left field for an out. Sim takes a walk. Cologne, as Sim steals second, actually, pretty easily. Cologne does strike out. That is Lemieux's third of the night. Alderson sends this one to center. And that is the end of the top of the fourth. Iso sends this one to left field for a single. Finn Reese sends that one to shortstop. They'll get the force, or they'll get the fielder's choice. McDavitt's hit and does not charge the mound. Sabor sends that one gone. A three run, 409 foot home run. And this game may just be out of reach for Death Valley. As the Raptors lead 8 to 1. Pluto does strike out looking as Buster Nut replaces Garcia on the mound. J Doctor does take a walk. Shizen Boone gets hit again. Or no, I thought he got hit earlier. I said that was his first. Tyson Boone got hit by that pitch, and Bochamp does strike out looking. Gonzalez takes a walk. Holding a fart. Sends that one into center field. Runners on first and second. James Love sends that one to left, and that's going to be an out. Orm. Orm! Finally does something productive and sends that one out of here at 415 feet for a three-run home run. But the Scorpions are still down by four. The fave strikes out swinging in Fullman. Whoa, that ball curved, but that's caught by the center fielder. Duke Bland sends that one into left field just past the diving shortstop. Steve Iso will strike out swinging. Finn Reese, that's going to be an infield single. McDavid flies that one out to right center. Put runners on the corners. Sabre strikes out swinging. The score remains 8-4. to four. Shang Xuan Sim grounds out to the third baseman. Cologne. That's... Whoa! Caught at the foul pole for an out, and Elderson flies out to right. Johnny Pluto will strike out looking. Jay Doctor strikes out looking. And Chizen Boone grounds out to the shortstop. Steve Gonzalez takes a walk over to first. Holden and Fart pops this one up in the infield. James Love grounds that one to the shortstop. And Orem sends that one to center field, and that's going to be diving catch for an out. Bochamp grounds that out to first. 
toot plan grounds that out to first. And Steve Eso takes a walk. Ben Reese grounds that one out to the shortstop, and that'll end the bottom of the seventh. Two innings to go, and still a four-run game. The fave flies that one, or lines that one to the first baseman. Fulman pops this one up, and that's caught by the center fielder. Sim, deep to left. Looks like it's going to be caught, though, and it is. Three up, three down. McDavitt sends that one to the second baseman. A little pop-up. Petra Sabor flies out to the right fielder. Strike three. Johnny Puludo strikes out looking. Willie Colon sends his one to left field for a single. Alderson flies out to right. Gonzalez strikes out swinging and down to their final out. Holder Fart does get on base. Runners on first and second. Love strikes out looking, and the series is tied. Both series are tied. Boy, oh boy. As the Raptors and a prediction gone sideways as 52.6 thousand channel points are heading over to those who chose the Raptors for game four. So the Raptors take the, D uh, take the Scorpions eight to four as Tupplan, J Doctor, Petra Sabor, and Steve Iso all have two hits. As Sabor goes two for five with three RBIs and two runs. Waller takes the win for Boise. Garcia takes the loss. And Petra Sabor is the player of the game. All right. We have to... We have to do many things. <laughs> uh, okay, I have to first. You got to first. You got to switch the uh, lineups. Nope, I got to move the Miners game back. You got to move the Miners game back. That's what I said. That is, that's exactly what you said. Mm -hmm. I've been here the whole time. Right. I knew you were. Yeah. Yeah. All right, this is being annoying. There we go. Okay. So I need to delete this game. Okay, hang on. So. <gasps> delete. Yep. <sighs> yep. So it's Dillos and then Chicago. I need to delete this game. Chicago. And put it on the 8th. So. Dillos and Chicago is a playoff game schedule. Okay, so game one is on the seventh now. Game two is on the eighth. Game nine needs or game three needs to be deleted, which is actually Chicago <laughs> at the Dillos. Because that needs to be deleted because it's an off day. There's game three. There's game four. This needs to be game five. Game six. The Dillos and whoops, not the dynamos. There we go. There. And then this needs to be deleted and placed here. Okay. So, should be no game on the 6th. There should be a game on the 7th and 8th, none on the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. None on the 13th, 14th, and 15th. Okay. I did, did you do things? Did not did you do good? That. I think so. <laughs> well, so I'm not really paying attention. I have to order your food. Uh, yeah, what'd you get? Uh, they're making some Chinese. Ooh. Yeah. Chinese yeah. chicken. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. So have chicken. Pretty sesame chicken. Oops. I think I need a... 
I need to move it all back two days. Oh no, <laughs> we need to do that again. Yeah, keep ordering your food. We'll we'll be with you guys. I, I will momentarily. Do do do, do, do I go back and play some baseball music? <laughs> I would, uh... Okay, so that actually uh, needs to be on the eighth, which ooh. it is. Okay, so Dillo's Kingpins. Okay, uh, here's a question for chat: Do I want to get wonton soup or hot and sour soup? I I don't remember if the hot and sour soup from this place is good or not. Um, but which one? See, neither yeah. egg drop or seventh. So, <laughs> One thing on the eighth, which makes sense. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. All right. Scores. Okay, so that's game five for those on the seventh, and nothing on the minus. Well, Excellent. I only have I only have one legitimate vote for my soup. <laughs> no one Just cares about your soup. Time. They all want to see who's going to win the Voyagers and Tauros game. I care about my soup. All right, Bab says okay. lineup I'll, I'll for game five. Time. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, they're changing things. Yep, Scorps, Boise, Voyagers. You've had time Voyagers and Tauros, but I'm changing stuff. So Voyagers and Tauros, get your stuff in now. Now. Iridian. Uh, ooh, do I want Nard? It's... Rivers, Shoe, Slim, Stevenson. Oh, uh oh, shoe, there, uh -oh. there, Stevenson, Lodge. Okay, there we go. Actions, copy, paste. Okay. All right, just making sure. Iridian, Menard, Rivers, Shoe, Long, Slim. Stevenson, Hodge, Delacio. Can we see our lineup? No. No. There's your lineup. Yes. Oh. Okay, and I'll and I'll go back really quick, Jabs, yeah. and show you eight and nine. Um, Tauros, you guys have got Knox, Salmons, Munson, Bauer, Carter, Hank, Fitted, Walrus, Hotman. Let me just make sure. So actually, you guys are at Cancun. So actually, it would technically be since you guys are at Cancun, it would be Knox, Hank, Carter, Bauer, Munson, Hopman, Salmons, Fitted, Walrus. All right, you guys are good. Back to the Voyagers. Okay. I have eight. Uh, where flip, is... flip Hopman and Munson. Okay, I will flip Hopman and Munson. Voyagers, eight is Hodge, and nine is Delacio. I would change the size of my screen, but I can't. Actually, what I can do is <gasps> this. We can't change. So rude. Hold away. There we go. Now you should be able to see eight and nine, sort of. There you go. Put a pop in. Mm -hmm. Proceed to check out. Uh, da da da. Chorus. Oh, oh, they got, they got coupons. Flip Hopman and coupons Munson. Again. So you guys want Hopman at five, Munson at six. Hopman at five, Munson at six. Okay. They don't get coupons. All right, let's send thumbs up to my boys in there. I think I did everything they wanted. But you did do what you wanted. You happy as a person. <laughs> All right, we're gonna turn our overlay back on. We're gonna turn our hosted by back on. Oh, who's hosted by? Uh, Super Tardis. 
Oh, nice. I, I like the guy. Yeah. All right, boys. Prediction time. Who will win game five? Voyagers. Tauros. Promo has expired. That's not nice. All right. Throw in your channel points. Lose them to the casino gods. As we get prepped for game five of both series. And we say, yeah, place your order. Where are you placing it? You know, my order. Yeah, but where? Yeah, um, redacted. <laughs> like, are you placing it on the kitchen table? Or the floor? Hmm. So this is game five. Uh, winner takes all. Uh, should I do this one since you did yes, the please. last all of them? <laughs> okay! I need to pee and my voice hurts, so... Voyagers at Toro's Game 5! I, yep, okay, I got a text saying that my order is confirmed. Oh, I click start, good luck. Let's go! Grant and Radian will get us started! Game 5 Elimination! Get us started with a strikeout. Let's, let's get an email then if it's coming. Uh, things make a little slower if Gold is going to pee, since he can't kind of click out of some of these wrong animations as Archie Menard draws a walk. Eric Rivers hits that one to right field, shallow cut for at number two. Tom Shue up now, but first, a stolen base? No! Archie Menard caught stealing at seconds. Let's go, it's the Cancun Toros the turn to uh, try to get this thing going. Knox will ground out for at number one. Uh, Folly Hank will ground up for out number two. Anthony Bauer will ground up for out number three. One, two, three, inning there <laughs> for the Toros. Top of the second. Eventually, here we come. Tom Shu, happy birthday. Here's a ground out. Hard and long. Up to bat with one out here. Hit set one to the center field. Diving catch for out number two. Slim here will strike out looking. Look a little offside, outside, but you know. Umpires be umping. Bomb of the second, Anthony Bauer to lead us off. He's going to strike out looking. Tanner Hopman up to bat. Hopman will strike out swinging. So two quick strikeouts here for Kevin Cho. Cade Munson, who just threw out RJ Menard the other inning, at second will ground out to the shortstop. So after two, we are scoreless. Top of the second, 7-8-9, batters up for the Voyagers. There we go, first hit of the game. Joshua Stevenson gets a lead-off single to left field. A wild pitch will move him over to second. Dylan Hodge up to bat will ground out to the second baseman that leads their runner over to third. Delisio will strike out swinging, so two outs back to the top of the order for Iridian. Strikes out looking, one hit, runner got all the way over to third, is ultimately left on base. Bottom of the third, 79 batters at the Toros. And like we just saw, a leadoff single. Will we have a wild pitch? Runner moves over to second. No, you just get a strikeout. And it strikes out for out number one. Walrus strikes out looking for out number two. Top of the order, here we come. Levon Knox, a uh, hit and run, but it'll be a fly out to uh, right field with the second baseman getting that. So one hit a piece for each of these teams. Top of the fourth coming. Archie Menard, a uh, hit in the infield. Now to try to steal second. Safe this time. So runner at second, no outs. And this will be the first one game as Eric Rivers hits that one right in the middle uh, with the RBI single. So the Voyager is taking a 1 nothing lead. Still no outs. She will draw the walk. So two on no outs for Harden Long. The DH will hit that one right to second baseman for a, uh, for a double play. <laughs> As an amazing catch at the warning track out there in right field, as Slim hits that one out there for out number three. Right. So the Voyagers score one, but that's all, as Farley Hank will strike out to start at the bottom of the fourth. Ace Carter up now, will hit that one down the right field line. That's going to be extras, and that's going to be a double. Did not need a slide, uh, but it's trying to steal second and safe, so right throw already. Bauer hits that one deep to left field. This should be able to score the run, play at the plate. Safe. Cancun ties his game with a sack fly by Anthony Bauer. Two outs here for Hopman, and that's going to be another hit into left field. So one on, two outs, and 
I don't even know what happened there. That was just a bad uh, steal attempt as Hotman is caught by a mile out there. Stevenson now is going to start out the fifth with uh, extra base hit with a double. And then Hodge is going to get that one down the gap. That should be extra base hit, and that'll score a run. And this stays at second, but RBI double for Dylan Hodge. D'Alessio now will look at that one to center field. That's going to be caught by the shortstop. Meridian will uh, ground rule uh, drop third strike. That's what it's called. We'll get thrown out, and then <laughs> Menards uh, strikes out. But the Voyagers put up another run, taking back the lead up 2-1. to one. Caden Munson strikes out swinging to start their half of the inning. Uh, Salmon's up. We'll draw the walk. Michael Fitted will strike out looking. So two outs. Runner on first for Walrus, who will strike out swinging. Kevin Show uh, thrown now a little bit over 80 pitches here after five. Top of the sixth, Eric Rivers will strike out looking. One out of way for Tom Shu, hitting 412 in the postseason. He's going to get another hit now into left field for the single. Harden Long will strike out swings. Two outs for Slim now, the catcher. He will strike out. It's a good job uh, by Kevin Good there to get the strikeout to end the top of the sixth. Top of the order now for the Toros, Knox will get a uh, get on the first with the error <laughs> and then Hank is going to fly out deep to center field Carter is going to fly out shallow to the shortstop and Bauer with that's a hit that's a two out hit so two on two outs for Hopman now and if that lands I will score a run it does not they fly up the center field top of the seventh seven eight nine batters up for the Voyagers Stevenson is going to hit that one deep down the right field line. That is a line drive home run, 401 feet. You don't get a better hit than that in baseball. And the Voyagers now have a 3-1 to one lead with that home run. The Hodge strikes out looking. And is the DLSU up to bat now for the Voyagers, who will get a base hit to right field. So a one-out knock there, as already will draw the walk. So two on, one out for R.J. Menard. And R.J. Menard will uh, ground into a double play. So clutch there for from the Cancun defense to put an end to the inning. Munson now will strike out Sweden to start off the bottom half of the seventh. Salmon's up. That face gets me every time. And we'll get a base hit right up the middle, right past the shortstop. Michael Fitted will get this one deep to left field. That's going to drop. Wow. And we have two runners in the swing position here for the Toros now. It's Waterman and Wallace. We'll that one deep. That's going to be deep enough to get one run in. Both runners tag up. And Kenku scores a run. Two outs here. So if Knox does another base hit, uh, that could be another run. No. Swings the bat, which is good. Doesn't make contact, which is bad. So Cancun gets a uh, a run off of the error or off of whatever happened out there in center field. Um, but they can't get anything else. A quick out, and then Tom Schuess get that one down the right field line for a double. Hard and long up to bat now. That is going to get caught in left field. Great catch there for the second out. Slim now get that one deep to center field. Another great catch in the outfield for the Toros. Their defense came to play. Now let's see what their bats can do. Farley Hank is going to ground out to the pitcher. Ace Carter will ground out the second base. They have four outs here to work with in the rest of this game as Anthony Bauer flies out to center field. They're going to have one more shot in the ninth. But first, the Voyagers get a chance to extend their lead. They're only up by one. Their bottom uh, batter's up. 79. Stevenson strikes out swinging. So for, uh, the quick first out, Dylan Hodge will hit this one to left field. Not deep enough. That's easily caught. And then Delicio will strike out swinging. Cancun has three outs before the end of their season. Maybe potentially early to put into the Voyager season. Tanner Hopman up to bat. Hopman will ground out to shortstop for out number one. Munson will get hit by a pitch. Winning run at the plate. Lucas Salmons will hit this one to the second base one. Fielder's choice. They still have a chance. Michael Fitted now up to bat. Fitted hits this one to left field. That's caught. The Voyagers win the game, and the Voyagers move on to the semifinals as Cancun gets reverse swept. 
in the wild card round. I don't know if it was back. No, yeah, I saw a mouse move. <laughs> You're a mouse move. <laughs> um, as the Voyagers wins one three two close game the entire way. Um, three. I mean, this game really on the back of Joshua Stevenson, the number six hitter or the number seven hitter, three for four with that uh, beautiful home run. Uh, scored two of the runs in this game. Uh, Samlin's went two for three for Cancun. But wow. Um, it, started, it started really, really well with pitching. Uh, the win going to Kevin Choate, who went six and third, gave up two earned runs, nine strikeouts. Spinner, I guess, a loss, giving up two earned runs. Get five and two thirds. Hold goes to Tokiyami. Jabs gets the, his second save. I believe he had the save in the last game as well, through one pitch. <laughs> Perfect. Um, got the out. Kevin Cho is a player of the game. Congratulations to the Voyagers and my TPE. Um, I did have the Voyagers being Cancun in this in the series. Um, the attendance they, they was sixty nine thousand nine hundred and ninety eight. Yeah, uh, the Voyagers will face either the San Antonio Sloths or the New Orleans Rougarous, depending on what happens in the game, uh, the Boise Death Valley game. Is dependent on that. Boise, you want any changes? <sighs> oh, yeah. Uh, can, can you go to uh, the, our uh, pitching? What, what are people looking like? Well, oh, I have wrong button. Yeah, he press the right button. <clears throat> but here, let me actually look at... I'm just going to wait for the stream to catch up. <laughs> Um, right, yeah, we have green, that's fine. He's also dead. Styles is dead. Lung, please don't be too dead. Carl, right. yeah, I mean, I, uh, what, no, is Styles dead? Uh, he's dead enough, not the pun, the pun, I don't think. Um, I don't know, I don't know if Frick's watching, if you want to do anything specific. I think Frick wants to win. Uh, you know. Um, I don't see anything in our, in our war room. Okay. I'm good with saying stuff the same. All right, and I have a let it ride in in Twitch, so. Uh, uh, we are gonna get going. I'm scared. I don't like this. Oh. <laughs> Death Valley historically has a two and seven record in the wild card round. Um, I don't think we've ever really been to the underdogs. In that I could be wrong. Yeah. In the earlier seasons, we were. Um, well, it all comes down to this. Yeah, Shane Green, Andrew Lucas. We got got tagger peeps and uh, a lineup stacked for the Scorpions, but couple for the Raptors and as we've seen able to make a dent in oops let's let's do our prediction let's start a new one who will win our last game of Ra the night Raptor boys <clears throat> or Scorpy Scorps uh -huh. If you vote for the Scorpio Scorps, then you will lose your money. You missed it. I almost oh, anti, yeah. anti jinxed the uh, the loss of Game Four. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I think they were up like eight one, and I was like, "Yeah, it's pretty much too far out of reach for the Scorpions at this point." And then Orem hit a three run home run. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Give you guys a little bit of time. Get your pointy points in for your Scorpy Scorps or your Raptor boys. <laughs> oh wow, a lot of a lot of pointy points. A lot of pointy points. A lot of pointy points. About fourteen k pointy points. Seventeen k pointy points. Twenty-two k pointy points. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right. Well, 
here we go. The last game of the night. I need to check my email really quick. Sorry. Oh, yeah, did, 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 you get, did you get my email? I did. It's a cat. Sure, I don't have a cat. But... Oh, you should have a cat. They're good. Well, you know, maybe later in life. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe soon. Danny Dividome as Steve Eso strikes out up against Shane Blue. Finn Reese sends that one to left field and caught a diving catch on the warning track. And McDavid will strike out swinging. Holding a fart, grounds out to the shortstop. James Love grounds out to the shortstop. Andrew Orm grounds out to the shortstop. <laughs> Finally, we get one of those. I know! I do that every time in hopes that it happens, and now I'm shocked that it did. Uh, Saber pop up to the shortstop. Doctor will strike out swinging. Green's third of the evening. And Chizen Boom grounds out to the first baseman. Lefave strikes out swinging. Fullman sends this one high to right field, but that's caught. And Sim lines out to the center fielder. Three up, three down. Pluto will strike out swinging. Shane's fourth. Bochamp strikes out swinging. That's the fifth of the night. And Tootplan, a diving catch in center field. Makes it a three up, three down inning. Willie Colon pops this one up to the shortstop. It's going to be an easy play. Alderson. Flies this one out to left field. Gonzalez sends this one to right field. And another 3-up, three 3-down three inning. Iso grounds to the shortstop, and that's going to be the first out. Finn Reese. That's the sixth strikeout for Green. And there's number seven. An amazing start so far on both ends of the spectrum. Both pitchers. The first base runner of our game, Holden a fart, takes a walk. James Love gets our first hit of the game, and it's going to be a run-scoring double as Death Valley takes the lead. Orem flies this one out to left field, and they will hold a fart on second. Lefebvre sends that one up the middle, and runners are on the corners. Fullman follows that with a single to score a run and put runners one more time on the corners. Sim walks, and Lucas is slowly falling apart on the mound, but actually gets out of it with a 3-6-3 yeah, double play. play. Yeah. Clutch right there. Well, Shane Green, after that little bit of rest, gives up his first hit of the night, a double to right center field. Jay Doctor will strike out looking. Chizen Boone with a fly ball and a diving catch in right field. And a grounder off the third base base <laughs> as Pluto grounds out. Yeah. Well, a little bit of offense showing up finally as Alderson gets a double to left center. The rookie. Steve Gonzalez strikes out looking. A fart flies that one to left center. And that'll put Alderson on third. Love strikes out looking the third for Lucas on the evening. A little bloop single to right for Bochamp. Toot plan sends this one to left for now. Iso will strike out looking the ninth for Shane Green. And make that ten double digit strikeouts in six innings. Shane Green, have yourself a night. Orm grounds to the first baseman, followed up by a ground out to the first baseman from Lefebvre, and a bobble, an error, by the second baseman ends, uh, put Fullman on first, but Sim grounds out to the shortstop. Green, still in this game, gets a grounder out of McDavitt. Sabor grounds out to the shortstop, and Doctor... Ooh, actually gets that one by the shortstop for a single. Ah, oh, almost hit again. Chizen Boone gets that one to the second baseman for the final South out. South Atlantic stretch! Oh. Ba -ba -da 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 -ba. Oh. 
Colon will strike out, swinging Lucas's fourth. Do you pitch or Medi Paul? Oh, Matthew Paul in now on the mound, yeah, as Alderson flies out, and Steve Gonzalez does the same. Let's see, Shane Green gonna come back to start another inning. He's still does. on and miss. 11 strikeouts now at 12. We'll give you guys free pizza. Oh, really? No. Bo Champ grounds out oh. to the first baseman. And Toot Blonde, there's S12. number 12. Free pizza, 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 pizza for pizza. everyone in Death Valley. Oh, really? Yeah, only Death Valley residents, oh. though. You have to show your I'm... ID. Oh. Mm. The fart grounds out to the shortstop. Love will strike out the first for Matthew Paul. Orem actually gets on base with a walk. The fave will strike out, though, and that's two in the inning for Paul. Last chance for Boise. Tristan Lung into the game. Strike three. Strike out by Steve Iso. And a single. The tying run going to be at the plate in Connor McDavid, who strikes out. Petra Sabor. Last chance here. Strike three. And a drop third strike. They're oh. going to put him on. Winning run at the plate. And Jay Doctor, a home run. The dropped third strike comes back to bite the Scorpions. As Jay Doctor takes the lead. Oh, this inning is not over as Chizen Boom takes a walk. Johnny Pluto does the same. Lung's still in. And Bochamp finally ends the top of the ninth, but a dropped third strike is going to be the legacy or maybe not. As the Scorpions come up to bat, Fullman strikes out. Shang Xuan Sim will take a walk, so the tying run on first. Cologne strikes out, swinging in Alderson. And the series is over as the Raptors survive from a dropped third strike in the top of the ninth inning. And look at that graph. The game was over. Yeah, there were two outs, right? It was two outs. That dropped third strike with two outs remaining sealed the deal for the Scorpions. No, wait, what? For the Raptors. I mean, it, it, it won oh, it for the Raptors and sealed the deal. Is this, is that always the thing? I don't know. It's like, I don't know. Man. I don't know. I don't know. How do things work? I don't know. I've I mean, never seen a drop third strike mean that much in a game. I've I've never seen a drop third strike not be an out. <sighs> well, Jay Doctor is the hero of the game, going two for four with three RBIs as the the three run home run <laughs> destroyed <laughs> the Scorpions. Zero run runs for the Scorpions. <laughs> <laughs> Zero earned runs for the Scorpions as Leung takes the loss, giving up three unearned runs and a blown save. Matthew Paul does take the win, the advantage of being the last pitcher on the mound. And Shane Green going eight with 12 strikeouts is the player of the game. What in the world just happened oh you missed it we had a I, I don't know if you were here or not we had a second uh in the park home run oh really i was not here. yeah i think it was, it was another minor game oh. wow oh my well let's start with the minors um semifinals here the 66ers and the Dillos series. The left fielder, Cedric Winters, is the series MVP. Winters going 337 with a 358 on base percentage and a 470 slugging. As the Dillos do advance on to the World Series, taking a look at the Kingpins Dynamos series. 
The second baseman pork chop sandwiches for the Kingpins, having gone a 306 batting average, 383 on base, and a 403 slugging as the Kingpins advanced onto the World Series. On Thursday, I believe uh, LBG and Hummus will be here for the Dillos and the Kingpins World Series. Uh, up in the majors in the wild card round, the Voyagers continue on over the Tauros 3 to 2 as first baseman Tom Shu having gone uh 238 batting average, 283 on base and a 429 slugging is your series MVP. And then on the side of the Raptors and Death Valley, the Raptors continuing on as the left fielder Jay Doctor, I think rightfully so, with just his final at bat in the final game, gets series MVP, going an at batting average of 200 on base of 273 and a slugging of 275. What an ending for a night! I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Oh, wow. Well, we need to upload the index. Uh, it's been like a month since I did this. All the check marks, all the check marks. Alrighty, well, we are going to go ahead and execute that there. Uh, did I already close the prediction? I did. Excellent. That was a wild, wild night. <laughs> what in the world? There's my unmute. <laughs> oh, you were muted. Well, yeah, yeah. Go see you talking. Also, where's my food? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks to everyone for watching. We had uh, over 100 people, I think, at one point. Yeah, and honestly, we've kept over 70 for most of the stream on a playoff night. Mm -hmm. Nice snacks. I just... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up this... People are throwing around the... Uh, the ending there of the Raptors game. I'm going to pull this up and just... And a single. The tying run going to be at the plate in Connor McDavid, who strikes out. Petra Sabor. And a drop third strike. They're oh. going to put him on. Winning run at the plate. And Jay Doctor, a home run. The drop Jeez. third strike comes back to bite the Scorpions as Jay Doctor takes the lead. Just what a, an incredible ending to a game. I mean, just... Uh, I'm going to find all the, the various clips from tonight because that is just everything that happened if this will eventually load i'll i'll try and pull it up on my side screen here just all of the various stuff no its shut up at at t go away oh at t hey it's actually t-mobile just want to pull up a bunch of clips I I don't even know <laughs> what to say. You, you, you don't know how to say words. I I what do you what do you say to any what do you say to all that? You know it's it's wild. It's I crazy. I mean even you know you know for for just the extent that that we're both scorpions. I'm in shock. Yeah. But even if I wasn't. Yeah. The way that game yeah, ended. Still be in shock. I had two outs, all the runs. Two outs with That's... one runner on, and you strike the last guy out. I mean, 
If you're if you're Leong, you're <laughs> pissed. You struck the guy out. I don't. I just don't know. I don't know what you say to that. I don't. I don't know the right words. I I. I don't know the right words for for anything. <laughs> I mean, we got we got nine <laughs> clips from the night. We got we got here. What a catch! Oh, walk the running the go ahead run on first. Jabs. Oh, what a diving catch at third! That saved that game. Jabs is gonna thank that third baseman over there. Holy! Yeah, that, that ending, so that was the clip from ending of game four of the Voyagers, a diving play at third, uh, pretty much one for the Voyagers in a, in a very, very similar fashion to the, the way this game ended. Uh, runners on, pretty much ready to uh, to win oh. in just a diving catch, one, one play. And we got, I believe, our first uh, in the park home run of the night. Field that's caught for our number one. Bring it up. We are having some internet problems. Field that's probably caught for our number one. Stuff. Bring it up, Cedric Winters, who's hit this one deep, deep to right. Field. Oof. The uh, my computer's having. Some problems here. Oh, and field that's cool. Tell us that. Well, I would love it to. Bring it up, Cedric Winters. Just be like, this one deep to right field. That's going. That's not gone, but right into the. What? 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 An what? infield. This <laughs> park home. What? <laughs> what? Uh, uh, I'm gonna hop off. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm. I'm. Just, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna play the play the clips. Yeah, just in the park, and then he just I, just over, over and over and over. I. I mean, it'll take some time for the index, so I'm gonna let it keep going. But I just. I'm just gonna play the clips because I. 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 <laughs> I have nothing else to say. <laughs> oh, well, uh, thank you for having me on. Uh, have a good night, yeah. every to you and to everyone watching. Stay safe. Uh, you know, this past couple of days have been kind of crazy weatherwise. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks to uh, forty something people now that are sticking around to watch this boring stuff. Um, let's see. On Thursday is going to be LBG hosting, probably with Hummus God as a co-host. Uh, with the Miners World Series and the Majors semifinals. And then on Saturday, it's going to be uh, Danny B. Uh, going to be playing with the World Series, and I believe uh, Leather Nick Mike is be joining him for that. Sounds about right. Yeah, cool. But have a good night. Hopefully my food arrives soon. Yeah, uh, that's good. That dinner's good. Yeah, cool. Bye-bye. If someone could in chat uh, ban that person, please. Thank you. Uh, let's stop that streaming. Keep the this going. Disconnect from there. Um, I don't actually know how to spell that. There we go. There we go. I got it. <laughs> Took me a while there. Um, yeah, that's a no, no. That is an incorrect thing on my, on my end. I'll reverse it, but I don't think that's an incorrect thing. <sighs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm here, so I got it. Uh, all right, this next clip is Hodge shows off his glove in right field. Pop up. What? Fumble. Fumble. And Kaku uh, makes quick work of that error as Knox will get the sack fly. This is a good play, actually, right? And there's another diving catch.
Uh, I don't know what this one it is. It's just titled PBE Season 23 Playoffs. In the infield. James Love grounds that one to the shortstop. And Orem sends that one to center field, and that's going to be diving catch burnout. Diving play in center. Bochamp grounds that out to first. Toot plan grounds that out to first. And Steve Eso takes him off. Ben Reese grounds that one out to the shortstop, and that'll end the I think that was supposed zone. to be the diving play in center. I don't think this one's anything. I think this one's just to grab to check. screenshots. Game four. Cool. Yeah, that was just to grab screenshots. What's this one? This was our final game. Season maybe potentially or they could put into the Voyager season. Tanner Hopman up to bat. Hopman will ground out to the shortstop for out number one. Munson will get hit by a pitch. Winning run at the plate. Tilapia Salmons will hit this one to the second base one. Fielder's choice. They still have a chance. Michael Fitted now up to bat. Fitted hits this one to left field. That's caught. The Voyagers win the game and the Voyagers move on to the semifinals as Cancun gets reverse <laughs> swept. Yeah, no, I mean, even just watching it, just watching the games like normal, like you can get involved and uh, just not clip anything. I again, this is where I I vamp. I just talk for you know the last ten minutes, but I got nothing, man. You know, a three hour stream just by virtue of of showing you know all but like two games to end the final game with a dropped third strike to put a second runner on to get a three run home run. I don't know what <laughs> you know i I just I don't know what 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 do you do you know as a as a as a pitcher you're on the you're you're on the top of your game, you're throwing a Light out innings, strikeouts constantly. It's just crazy. TBS just needs to acquire more talent. Perfect. Go and go out and sign five more big free, big name free agents. No, uh, yeah. You know, I think, realistically, I think I had Voyagers and DVS moving on. And, or no, sorry. Did I have Voyagers? I had whoever was higher ranked, so I guess I had Cancun and, and uh, Scorpions moving on, and both are gone now. Um... At the very least, though, I, I guess I want to lose, like, one DBE. Because <laughs> I have the Ruguru and the uh, Sloths moving on to the World Series, so I should be fine there. But that's just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oi, yai, 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 yai. Does, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine as you know as, as if this were a real life game 
five or game seven of a series. How do you as a team go out and then justify your loss? You know, you're like, yeah, we, we've got, you know, game five, we're up two, you know, we're in the ninth inning, got two outs, put a man on, that's fine. Even if he scores, we're still up, you know, we're still up one. And then you get a strikeout and you drop it. And then it just so happens the next guy hits a home run. I don't know how that Prost game conference with the media goes. Sim gonna sim. No, you're 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 not wrong. You really aren't. Well, all right, guys. That is the end. Have a wonderful rest of your night. I'm gonna go have a little bit of dinner, and I will see potentially see you guys all on Thursday. I I'm not entirely sure if I'll be showing up. Uh, I was invited, but I think I'm gonna give uh, LBG and Hummus their day in the in the sun. So. Planet Zoo. <laughs> Maybe next year when I uh when I get a new place because this place is no longer good for streaming. So maybe get back to doing some Planet Zoo. I've I've missed missed my streaming. So all right, that is the index updated. Index updated. Oh, there's one already typed in announcement. Have a wonderful night, everyone. I will see you all next season.